Good morning everybody and welcome back to Capella Bar Sports Club for the second test match of the Bowls Queensland Anzac Series. We've got a great game li lined up here this morning and of course this wonderful event couldn't be brought to you if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of these wonderful sponsors. Mullins More Than Law, Queensland Government, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Asset Sports, J Carroll Shop Promotions and Bioscapes Group. We thank them very much for uh, supporting our wonderful game. And this morning... Uh, Justin from Jubilee Bowls Club up in the uh, North Queensland. Um, Gail Crompton, of course, Gail plays out of Tweed Heads, and Mitchell Mears, and Mitchell, of course, is playing out of Broadbeach Bowls Club. And they're up against today of uh, Phil Black, and uh, we all know Blackie, he's from Western Creek Bowls Club in uh, ACT. Um, Scott McNally from, uh, not too sure what club he's from, I'll try and find that out for you, anyways, the game progresses and we've got Vince, Vince Muller from uh, Austral Bowls Club in New South Wales, oh sorry, no, that's, uh, he's from Austral Bowls Club, and of course we've got, um, just trying to find the list, and Julian Julian Richards, who's from Darwin Bowling Club. So, um, all good. So, we just got to find out, in actual fact, where um, where's Scott's from. Can you understand that? Uh, Morty Alec. I think it is. Yeah, that's the way. Pretty hard to understand because I don't know if that's an O or a D. But anyway, we thank the, thank the uh, Defence Force for the information. We just can't interpret the the writing at this stage but uh, again I must say too it's a great cross section of uh, Australia that these uh, defence force are from and it's an absolute pleasure to uh, be here and watch their skills on a bowling green because uh, even the game the first test match got away from them slightly last night they did put up a very very good uh, performance very competitive it just took some very big bowls from a very experienced campaigners to really get um, the Queensland President's 12 over the line so we just got uh, just finishing the roll up here, and of course the Billy Cornells. I think everybody knows Billy's uh, delivery, been an absolute uh, great competitor over the years. And once again, too, just even in the roll up, uh, not far away, is he? So, good morning, Carla. How are you this morning? Jesse Turnbull, what are you doing awake at this time? Haven't you been to bed yet, Jess? Good morning, Vince, from Leppington in New South Wales. So it should be one heck of a game, and Phil Black, a very uh, unlucky last night, um, playing against Brendan Wilson. He uh, went down, I think it was 19-18, so one heck of a, a battle that was. A uh, great fight back from uh, from Blackie in that game. He was down, um, I think it was 8 nil early, and then he fought back and he got in front, then Brendan fought back, and it was a great tussle between two very competitive teams. So looking forward to this matchup this morning with... Uh, Billy, Billy once again, look at this, this is only the roll up, oh godfather, See, at least they didn't have to waste, waste chalk on that one, no. No, it should be, uh, should be a great battle here, I said, um, great to see uh, Justin down here too from, uh, from Townsville, Mr McCann, how are you buddy, how you going Dave, hope you're keeping well mate. And Blackie once again too in the area. Oh, thanks very much for that text. <laughs> really appreciate that, mate, from Melbourne South. I tell you what, the bit of paper they've given me. Um, nothing like Melbourne, mate. I tell you that right now. <laughs> That's Melbourne South. <laughs> More, yeah, more the Alec box, I think it says, yes, very hard, but uh, we thank the uh, Defence Force for the information, but thank you very much, Tex, really appreciate that information, mate. Ross Cribben, g'day, Rossy, how are you, mate? Okay, and uh, the thing about this is that... Um,
is that um, Julian that's uh, leading here? Good morning, Pauline. How are you? Julian Richards is leading. He was the one that actually got um, Olivia Rothwell into uh, into bowls. So I was told by uh, Olivia's parents last night. They're both cousins, so it's great for them to uh, meet up here. They played against each other um, last night, apparently, and um, it was a points decision last night. I uh, didn't play against each other. A big well, no, they didn't. But they uh, the matching up in the last game this afternoon. Uh, sorry, this game here. I sh no, this afternoon they're ma they're matching up together. So it's great to see uh, Vince, or oh, Julian here, I should say, because they have swapped around. We have them down as um, we have it down as uh, Vince leading and Julian playing too. But uh, the team's been swapped around. We were told just prior to the game. So uh, this is Vince here, Vince Miller. They played last night, did they? Yeah, they did, though. That's right. Brendan played Blackie. Uh, no. Yeah, Brendan yeah. did play Blackie last night. So, yeah, 100% correct there, Robbie. OK, Gail Crompton, never too far away this last year. We definitely know where Gail comes from, which is the Tweed Heads Bowls Club. And I tell you what, beautiful, magnificent facilities up here at Capella Bar Sports Club. Again, Gail, once again, just absolutely nailed that. Uh, we see uh, Vince on the mat at the moment playing his backhand. A little trail will be very beneficial. He's going to be in the region. Maybe just not going to quite turn in time, but uh, had good weight on what he was after. Uh, Joshua Beattie, are you out of bed or are you sleepwalking, mate? Good morning, Malcolm from Yarraman. Now, Gail, once again, too. Tell you what, she's in the region. She started off where she left off last night, this girl. She's going to roll that bowl over, put that in a pretty handy position. Got two shots there, Gail Crompton, once again. That's why her nickname is Radar. Now you can understand why. Playing the forehand, looking for a bit of a trail here. Or we'll just dead draw it. In a nice region here too. It's where they were coming back from last night. The carpet here, very, very kind. Yeah, tell you what, what a great first up bowl we have here. Well played. And of course, Scott. Scott McNally from the Melbourne South Bowl Club. Courtesy of text, give us that information. Hey, good on you, Joshy. Right, Justin, little inside edge, which he got. Yeah, got another pretty good bowl in there. They've got uh, three seconds there. G'day, Larry. How are you, mate? You're out of bed early, son. OK, Scott, once again, can he repeat the dose? He's only, they've only got the one bowl in the head, and I think the... Bowls Queensland President 12 got uh, three seconds there. So again, he's in a nice region here. Just looking for the finish. He just pulling up on him, but it's yeah, it's another bowl in the head, but not quite. Yeah, good call there from uh, Billy. Just wants him just to draw it off. Good morning, Sandra. How are you this morning? Good morning, Anne. Oh, good try there. He had perfect weight on that one there, uh, Justin. Yeah, you did right, Paul. Always different in uh, in country areas, mate. You're 100% correct. Okay, Phil Black. Of course, uh, Blackie, as we all know him as, left-hander. Great bloke. So it plays out of the uh, ACT. Western Creek. Oh, well, that's eased the pain. So Billy's been down. They had a bit of a look at that anyway. So basically the same shots on for Billy as what he called uh, um, Justin on, really. It's very similar. 
Yeah, it should be some great games here today, Ian. We've got uh, this one here. Sorry, south of Melbourne on Port Phillip Bay. Thanks for that text. Yeah, not 100% sure of uh, where the clubs are actually located, so do appreciate that um, text. Thank you very much. So it's not uh, Melbourne South. It's actually the club that he's from is south of Melbourne. Now, Billy, he's not far away. Has he got the bowl? Gee whiz, that's a great bowl there from Billy Cornell. He's played that with magnificent controlled weight. He's probably made a good two, maybe three out of that by the looks of it. So I think uh, Phil's got to probably change his hand now. Got to sit that bowl and get that on his forehand, being a left-hander. <laughs> hey, good on your paws. Go, Scooter. Okay. Phil got a nice line. Comes down to his weight. His bowl's working nicely, coming into the head now. Oh, is he going to sit this bowl? He certainly is. What a great bowl. <laughs> oh, Blackie would like that one. Played it beautifully. Yeah, now Bill's got to change his hand. Just trail. That's good call there from uh, from Justin straight away. He said, mate, just trail the kitty back there. We've got a couple waiting for it. See that bowl there? The reason why Justin's asked for the call, because you can see it there, it's uh, basically a, just, just in front of Kitty. And that's the reason why he said change your hand. Yeah, just a bit wide with this one, Billy. He did the damage with his first one. Great conversion shot there by Billy first up. He had good weight on what he was after there, didn't he? Just uh, just a little bit, a little bit long. So good pick up there to the defence force. And it was a great test test match last night. It really was. Um, last night, just for the viewers that uh, weren't on board last night, we had um, Brett Wilkie's team up against uh, Jared Hawkins. Uh, Brett Wilkie's team was uh, in front, 29-13. And, of course, Billy Cornell's over Brent Marshall. It was uh, Billy, 34, Brent... 14 and Brendan Wilson up over Phil Black and uh, as I said last uh, last end victory there to Brendan uh, colossal battle that was in uh, 1918 but a great game could have gone either way and uh, gee whiz there's some fantastic bowls played on all of the uh, rinks last night and I said it's a uh, it's a series which has been going for 10 years now and it's um, it's very competitive, uh, but the camaraderie between the two teams is absolutely outstanding. As we see, Mitch Mears just going to drop down in front of that. Geez, I tell you what, Mitchell's been playing some great bowls of late. It hasn't uh, changed from where he's finished last night. G'day, Mary. How are you this morning? Great to have you on board. Yeah, it should be a great day, Michael. Yeah, I tell you what, what a great bowl there. Very well played. Julian, Julian Richards. Oh, just missed that. Good, good bowl there from uh, from Vince Vince Miller. G'day James, how are you this morning, mate? Hope you're keeping well, buddy. Right, Gail Crompton trying to draw this off on her forehand, and as I said, this is why they call her radar. Jeez, that's a beautiful attempt there by Gail. Very good catchment area just there. Just pulling up a bit short with that one there. Had a beautiful line on that one there, uh, Vince. Now, Gail may have to change here, yeah. Yeah, they look to say they've got second shot, so any movement of the kitty is uh, going to go over to um, 
to Mitch's white coloured bowl there, just to the left hand side of the line. And once again, she's going to be close. I think she's just going to duck though. But gee, there's another good bowl in the head there from Gail. Uh, well, not so much in, but a good, very good catchment area where it finishes. Just ran through just a little bit more. We see the carpet turning absolutely beautiful here. Good on you, Jay. Go the ADF. Good on you, mate. Tell us who you're barracking for. I remember, Jay, you were on last night. You used to be up at uh, Katharanga, if I remember correctly, up in North Queensland. A few beers and chilling. Good on you, James. Good to have you on board. I'll definitely let him know, uh, Vince, for sure. OK. Justin Cribben, bowl trying hard to rip back, just not quite getting there. Good attempt, though. Uh, Sandra straight away. ADF. <laughs> no hesitation in that one, Sandra. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> Now, Scott not too far away, just going to find that gap there. But again, come to a very good home, matching those bowls if the trail goes a little bit too far, well, his bowl will definitely come into play. Anything behind the head? Yeah, posted to Toowoomba, mate. Hope you're enjoying it out there. Be a little bit colder out there for you, though, uh, Jay. That lovely part of the world, mate, out the Darling Downs. Some good greens to play on out there too, mate. Will do, Vince. Yeah, just pulling up a bit short with that one, Justin. Had a good grass line on that one there. He just needed another couple of feet of weight. As you see, he's just trying to trail back to... Uh, you see Gale's two um, maroon bowls and the white one there of uh, Mitchie Mare. So... Uh, mm, just needed just a little bit extra weight. Yeah, you could play it either hand there, really, uh, Robbie, but... Probably got more advantage on the backhand, I reckon, for Billy. Yeah, well, that's the way it's positioned. It will go that way, mate. It's positioned because it's now thinking that the, it was right in front. See that? But it is uh, it is a little bit to the side when you look at that top angle up there. So, anyway, Blackie. Be looking for a bit of a positional bowl here, I'm assuming. He's, has he got the run? He's got a beautiful line. Yeah. Well, what a bowl. And has not fattened the target at all. So that's a great bowl there from Phil Black. Okay, bit of pressure on Billy. Couple down. Doesn't really, can't really afford to rock, um, yeah, top bowl, wasn't it, Sandra? Can't really afford to take um, Mitch Mears' white bowl out of the head, so you just got to play just draw weight. Starting to work its way back into the head now. Oh, great try there by Billy. Not too far away, just a couple of... Uh, a couple of feet through the head, but grass line again, as you can see there, just on the bottom of the screen there, just absolutely uh, was great weight there from, from Billy, a uh, great grass line, and exactly the weight that he's after to get that kid into that area, and I think that's what Phil's got to really cover now. There's quite a few uh, catchment bowls just sitting back there, and he's just taking a little bit too much grass there. But at least he's got something in behind the head, so down to Billy with his last bowl. He's on the same grass line, comes down to his weight now, and I think it could be just a little bit runny. Gee whiz, that's a beautiful correction though. Oh, great try. Uh, two good bowls by Bill, but no chocolates. So, great bowl there from Phil Black there, just to consolidate uh, second shot. 
I'm assuming it was just the two. No, it was three. Okay, it was three shots there. That, um, that bowl of um, Vince's must have counted also too then, if that's the case. So anyway, good pick up there by the defence team. And Phil Black actually come out firing here this morning. Okay, Julian Richards. I said these uh, these defence force players. I said they come from all over Australia, and it's just absolutely uh, fantastic how they can get a weekend off to in, enjoy the sport that they love, which is great to see. Okay, Mitch Mears on the backhand, looking just to dead draw this, maybe just a tad narrow. That's all. Weight was pretty reasonable. Just about a bowl in front of Kitty. Okay, Julian Richards once again sticking to his forehand. Definitely got a better grass line on this one here. Comes down to his weight now as it starts working its way in the head. Yes, lovely correction there by uh, by Julian. Beautiful weighted bowl. Okay, Mitch. Just taking a little bit more extra grass with this one. Should finish absolutely beautifully this bowl here from uh, young Mitchell. Yeah, beautiful correction there once again from the young man. Very consistent uh, Mitch Mears. Tell you what, another good looking bowl here. Is he going to get the run just to sit inside it? No, not quite, but gee whiz, that's a good bowl. Well played there. That's Vince, Vince Muller. So, Gail. Looking, I'd say, just to uh, add another one, or maybe just trail the kitty just off the centre line in behind that bowl there of Mitch's. And again, she's not going to be too far away from what she's trying to accomplish. Uh, well, still on the run there too. Uh, don't know if it's second shot, but it's definitely third shot by the looks of that there. So another good bowl in the head for uh, for Billy's team. Yeah, if he gets the inside edge of this bowl, he's going to be awfully close to the kitty. Ooh. Just not close enough. But there, once again, though, that's a very good finish there for Vince. Got a good bowl now. It's a very good catchment area. Now, Gail doesn't have to change too much, does she? Tell you what, she's not going to be too far away this time, though. Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think they're going to be a little bit more aggressive at it now with now that they've got that back bowl in. So, yeah, Phil's just saying play through that, which I thought, yeah, it was a great game, Vince. Uh, sorry, uh, James, really was a great game, mate. Yes, for all those hours, mate, the British and I put into Robbie over the years, mate, finally started coming to fruition towards the end of that game. Coaching him, getting his down to his playing weight. Uh, very unappreciative at times, Robbie, for what Bridget and I did do. He seems to be shaking his head over here for some reason. I don't know why, James. He's going to get a result out of this. Bang, bang. And he got the result. But, yes, definitely got the result. Because uh, Gail just went in the ditch. So, not too sure he's got shot. But it's really opened that up out in the open now. And, of course... Uh, the call from uh, Billy is that two down, so just draw one in there. Okay, Justin Cribben got plenty of room, but very awkward when you're drawing. Well, Justin, of course, plays up in um, North uh, Townsville, of course, at the Jubilee Bowl stuff and used to carpet, so he's got this very well pointed here too, just looking for shot. And that's good enough for shot for me. Yeah, great bowl, Justin. I said everybody knows him as Killer. <laughs> Pretty well right, James. That's where we taught him, mate. School of Hard Knocks. 
That's why his head's been knocked around so much, James. But then again, he did play rugby union, mate. Tell you what, what a great bowl here. That is very, very well played. That is the shot. Great bowl there from Scott. Scott McNally. Okay, Justin looking down just to sit that bowl. He's got to get around this front one. Little edge off it. Into the dish. What a great bowl, Justin Cribben. Just didn't rock it far enough, though. But, oh, that's class bowling, isn't it? You know what I mean? That's uh, two fantastic bowls there. One from Scott and then one from Justin. Just didn't, um, just didn't knock it far enough. But, gee whiz, that's, uh, that's well played. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy... I'd be looking for the kitty now because that yellow bowl there of um, Scott's is pretty well protected with that last bowl of uh, of Justin. So I'd be looking for the kitty if I was Billy. You can see the Brett Wilkie delivery on the rink next door. Right, Phil Black first up though. He knows this bowl needs a friend. He's just not quite wide enough. He's already told his teammates that. He said, my God, what am I doing there? Just falling into the ditch by the looks of it. Yeah, I think I thought Billy might change. Might go on the forehand here. It's the only way he's going to get to that bowl. It was a great bowl, Brian, wasn't it? <laughs> Dwayne, how are you, mate? Do something. He is, mate. Trust me. Right, Billy down, reaching for this bowl. Just a little bit underdone. Worth a couple if he can get to it. Now, Phil, quite aware that this bowl of his needs a friend. When he got the first part corrected... The grass line. The ideal bowl for uh, Phil would be to drop the kitty in the ditch. And I tell you what, he's not going to be too far away. What a great bill, Phil Black. <laughs> Brilliant bowl, mate. Well played. Now, both those bowls will go if Billy can get hold of it. Again, on the forehand, I think he's got to go a little bit quicker this time, though. Okay, Bill lining up on the forehand. Pretty close. Killed it. <laughs> what a great end, though. That's just absolutely first-class bowls all the way through that, wasn't it? Just uh, absolutely incredible. No, uh, what a great end of bowls. <laughs> Just got the kitty. Bit unlucky with that one, Billy. Played it absolutely beautifully. Corrected his grass line and his weight superbly for that second bowl. But, uh, uh, he got it right where he wanted to, but he uh, has just got the kitty at the same time. But uh, a great attempt. Uh, some great bowls in that end. So, Julian. Changed the length here slightly. He's got the mat up a bit and... Uh, yeah, about three quarters of the way up the line, the uh, kid is gone, as you can see. But uh, we have control of the cameras here this morning, so Robbie's in his element here now. Got all his toys to play with. Uh, Julian, just a bit wide with that one. Weight, but absolutely spot on. Okay, Mitch sticking to his forehand also too. And a good grass line on this one here. Comes down to his weight now, young Mitch Mears. It's going to be a couple of feet short, but once again, not a bad starter. Definitely within the uh, in the range. Okay. Julian. Just looking to cut his grass line. He doesn't want to change his weight. Played it beautifully. I tell you what, not a bad correction here neither. Just got to sit inside that. Which he is going to do. So, good bowl there. So, that's the one that Mitch has got to beat now. Yeah, that's just the uh, 
the, yeah, that's just the uh, adjustment. Yeah. Yeah, good bowl there from Mitch. Just overcorrected slightly, but a very good bowl there. That's the autofocus just clicking in and out there, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing we can do about that, but uh, it'll sort itself out as it gets used to it. Tell you what, we've got a good-looking bowl here, Vince. That'll be just in front of this one here of Mitch's, which he has done. That's played that beautifully. Yeah, well played. No, two shots there to the defence force. Okay. Gail Crompton on the match. He's not far away once again. A very good home there once again too from uh, from Radar. Yeah. See Phil, so just want a bit more weight on this one. Please, Vince. Good morning, Mike. How are you, mate? From Abbotsworth in Wales. Good to have you on board. Yeah, and that's a pretty good, that's another pretty good bowl there. Maybe just wanted just a little bit uh, closer to the line, that's all. But uh, beautiful weight, but never know what could happen. Now, Gail comes down to her weight as her bowl starts working into the head now. Yeah. Uh, Good bowl there from Gail. G'day, Darren. How are you? Yeah, some top bowls being played here this morning, mate. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Hope you're keeping well. Okay. Scott on the mat at the moment. Scott McNally. Again, just got to sneak in front of Mitch's bowl here, which is looking... Pretty well, pretty promising at this stage. Yeah. They've all contributed at this end. They've all got one each. So holding three shots there, the uh, defence ball. So, yeah, Killer can play this either hand. So Billy said, that's a nice little nest egg down here, mate. Just rest on this and uh, take the kitty for a bit of a stroll. Yeah. Yeah, Billy egging it on. Well, it's eased the pain. Possibly still two down. Maybe three, but yeah, good call there from uh, from Phil Black there. Just trail the kitty out of sight so they can't see it. Tucking in behind these three here. So, uh, seen some great bowls here already this morning, I said. Um, Phil Black come out all guns firing. 4-0 up over Billy Cornell's. And again, I tell you what, Scott's not going to be too far away. He's just maybe a little bit heavy, but he's still going to get a result off this bowl of gales. That's a perfect bowl there. Well played. That may change the uh, the shot that Billy calls here now. He doesn't really want the edge of that kitty because he could be, could be three down. Well, he might be three down anyway, but I think he's going to have to change to the forehand. That last bowl of Justin's, I think, maybe just in his draw. Uh, going to have a drive, OK. Yeah, Justin does let fly when he lets fly. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, just practising that swing again. <laughs> Still a few down, but... Um, see what they come up with. I said Blackie would love to take this kitty just off the line. Probably the shot that um, Justin was looking for then was onto his first bowl. If he got that in the belly, I reckon all three of those bowls got the possibility of going. But uh, he's just a little bit narrow, but anyway. Now Phil desperately trying, I reckon, just to get this in behind those three bowls. And out of sight, out of mind. White. Now Billy, Danny having a look, so he's having a bit of a look now to see what he's going to play. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty good. How are you, Steve? Yeah, mate, it is a crack of a setup they got here, mate. Two magnificent greens and uh, beautiful club facilities. Absolutely magnificent club facilities and um, absolutely uh, fantastic. <laughs> Michael, I will do that, Jason. I will let Vince know. Right, Billy on his forehand, looking for a trail. Not too far away. <laughs> How he found that gap, I've got no idea, but he found a way through it. <laughs> a very good attempt there from Billy Cornell. A bit of a trail on there was worth uh, was worth a few. Well, anyway, he uh, stuck with it. Well, about the weight he's at, he probably would have had two shots. But uh, now Phil definitely got the opportunity. Just correct his grass line and just move this kitty. And I think he's underplayed it by the looks of it. And I reckon he'd be holding, I reckon, three shots, maybe four even. I tell you what, he had a good weight on that one there, Phil, for what he was after too. Okay, Bill doesn't have to change too much from his first bowl. Got a bit of better grass. Just a bit weighty, that's all. Had good weight on what he was after, so it's going to be a handy pick-up here to Phil Black. Looked like four. Bit unlucky there. No, it was two. Okay, well, that bowl of um, killers must have taken a couple of them out. It was a lot closer than we thought there with the camera angle, so... Just the two. That's the beauty about these uh, electronic scoreboards. Uh, the players straight away uh, put the results up immediately, and um, yeah, and you see it as clean as anything. So six nil to Phil Black over Billy Cornell's at this stage. Yeah, not a bad start. They're just going to pull up a bit short there by uh, by Julian. Said we said before, Julian from um, from up in the Northern Territory, lovely part of the world, from Darwin Bowls Club. I'm sure David Baker's probably come across him a few times. Of course, Dave from the Territory originally. Now. Changing his hand here, Julian. Just dropped over onto his uh, backhand. Not a bad idea. I mean, if you feel comfortable to change your hand, there's no need to stick there. All these players are very experienced campaigners. Yeah, not too far away. Beautiful weighted bowl there from uh, Julian. Right, Mitch. Got a nice grass, grass line on this one here. He comes down to his weight now as he starts working his way into the head. He's not going to be too far away when it decides to stop. That's a beautiful bowl there from Mitch Mears once again. You've never been up there, uh, Darren. Yeah, I'd love to get up there one day, mate. I see the tournament they have up in... Uh, in the territory every year, mate, and I love watching the uh, Facebook on how it goes. Just got an inside edge. Gee whiz, that's unlucky. He was really on track for that. Good morning, Michael. Buller to you too, my friend. Who's Michael? I'm pretty sure you're from uh, Suva Bowl Club, mate. So, Gail Crompton once again. Not too far away, just not quite there, but a good bowl. So going to play a little bit more direct at it by the looks of this here. Just see, uh, see um, Phil's call was more direct. Is he going to get the same wick though? Oh, what a great bowl. Played that magnificently. That's a beautiful bowl. Well played. 
beautiful bowl there from Vince Vince Muller. Yes, yeah, Sue, we're good on you, Michael. Have a great day, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, uh, Darren. Yeah. Okay, Gar looking down, probably play onto Mitchell's bowl here. Uh, played this brilliantly, hasn't she? Gee whiz, that's a great bowl, Gar. That's two great bowls. Two very good second shots there. Yeah, Phil's just asking, basically, asking Scott to clear away for him by the looks of it. Tell you what, he's going to be awfully close to shot bowl here. Oh, he's just going to drop. Gee whiz, that's a great attempt though, wasn't it, eh? Played it with uh, lovely weight. I think it may have just fallen in, but looks of uh, Phil there. He thought it was there, and all of a sudden it just fell. Yeah, a bit of danger both hands here for uh, for the Billy Cornell's lead combination. It's pretty hard to get into. Two of those bowls are against them, and on the forehand, that uh, tricolour bowl there on the left-hand side of the line, and that bowl being Julian Richards. So, Justin Cribbin, gone to a very good home there, Killer. Not far away. There's some quality bowls on show here this morning. Close over all two at 12.10. Uh, OK, Scott, once again, is definitely in the region. It seems to be holding. It's just starting to go now, though. But, gee whiz, that's another great attempt. And he's made it more accessible there for uh, for Phil there too. Just open that up slightly, just touching the kitty there. Just sprung it out just that little bit, but Justin really looking for a little trail here. Doesn't want to give uh, Blackie a couple of goes at this. Starting to come now. It just comes down to his weight. Wants to sneak around there. Oh... Yeah, good attempt. Just not a bad home. Well, it's a little bit warmer here this morning than it was last night, that's for sure. It's uh, a bit fresh there last night. Just get the updated uh, temperatures here for uh, the Capalaba region. Beautiful part of uh, South Brisbane in the Gateway District. It's um, down in the Bayside area. Definitely says uh, rain developing. Uh, supposed to be coming in around about uh, 1 p.m. They reckon. Uh, a lot of rain tomorrow. They're forecasting 30 mil for down here tomorrow. Uh, we. It's 23.8 degrees, apparently, according to the Department of Meteorology here at the moment at uh, Capalapa. Now, Blackie, playing more direct. He's got this all the way. What a ball, Blackie. Fist pump. Great ball. And that was, that's where the uh, jack is, and that's where his bowl is, by the looks of it. So, looks as though... He's got no touches that he can go at. That's a great bowl there from uh, from Phil Black. Once again, great shot. Just uh, just getting the kitty. As I said, just that previous bowl that just sprung that kitty out was just enough for Phil to have a good look at it. So a bit of pressure on uh, Billy once again. I think Blackie's even picked his bowl up for him. G'day, Jamie. How are you, mate? Jamie Dickerson. You having a game at Laley today, mate? Okay. Billy on the backhand. Just about impossible to draw this in actual fact, but he's got uh he's probably got three second shots there at the moment. But Phil Black got the opportunity of drawing another one close, but gee whiz, this is a 
Very good attempt from Billy Cornell's. Yeah, great bowl by Bill, right on the edge of the ditch, but just unfortunately not good enough because you can see Phil's bowl there and you see the kitty just to the right of it. But what a great bowl there from Billy. So that's the bowl if, if uh, Phil wants another shot. That's the bowl he's got to beat. Pretty much impossible. Hey, good on you, Jamie. Well, the best in the club pairs today, mate. Hope you go well, buddy. Catch up with you during the open, mate. Okay. Phil. Got a good grass line for what he's after. Even if he sits Bill, he's bowling and stays. And he's awfully close to it. Oh, mate, what a bowl. Great bowl. Oh, what an ex exhibition he's putting on here today. That's two shots. Two great bowls. So. So Billy just looking at uh, hitting and staying. Another great bowl there from Billy, just not quite good enough, so he'd be two down, but he's played two great bowls himself, but Phil Black played two better. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Janie Brown, what? <laughs> two great bowls there, uh, Janie, wasn't it, eh? Said this Australian defence force, I think they spend a bit of time on the bowling green, in my opinion. Geez, whiz, they're playing well. Absolutely beautiful here, fantastic to watch. And two, two absolutely, two bowls that Phil played, absolutely, uh, I mean, Billy, Billy played two fantastic bowls there also too for, uh, for no result. G'day, Ian, how are you this morning? Yeah, it is an awesome game, Janie, it really is. Hey, good on you, Ian. Yeah, it's got two great games here today. Uh, tell you what, a great start here once again, too, from uh, Julian, Julian Richards. Lovely start there. As I said previously, Julian from the um, Darwin Bowls Club. Yeah, Mitchie Me is sticking to his forehand also, too. Don't know what Blackie's got in that coffee, but I tell you what, I think we may have to drug test this later on. Absolutely on fire here this morning, Phil Black. Playing superbly. There's beautiful grass bowl there from young Mitch. It's just a little bit overweight. Not much. There's our Mitchy man. You're dead right there, Ian. Another good bowl here, too. Uh, two good bowls. Well played there, Julian. Two very good bowls. Good on you, Derek. Watching from Fife in Scotland. Yeah, some great bowls being played. Now, Mitch, just looking just to drop a couple of feet of weight. But I think he's going to have very similar bowl to his last one, but is he going to flop in? Not quite, no. So, advantage there to Julian. At least to have had a wonderful battle up front. Really uh, setting it up nicely for their teams. And Radar playing superbly here too, but gee whiz, you wouldn't... 8 nil. you'd never... The way Phil's played some conversion shots been absolutely superb. So just a bit quick there by Vince. Okay. Gail Crompton. Yeah, just going to stay there by the looks of it. Beautiful weighted bowl there. Or oh, probably still, yeah, probably a couple of feet over. Probably a couple of feet over, that's all. Got a nice line on this one here, Vince. Yeah, great bowl. Good weight too. All right, may have to change your hand now. I think there's a nice little draw down there on the uh, on the backhand anyway. All 
Right, Gale. Got a couple of options on the backhand. Should start working his way into the head. Yeah, and that's a good bowl there from uh, from Gale. I think it's still two down by the looks of it from here. I favour both those. Yeah, both those shots are in. Yeah, but she's taken one out, so she's made the head better than she found it. It's doing her job. Now, Killer got a. Depending on what um, Scott does here, got a nice little shot down there on the backhand. And uh, Blackie trying to cover these three bowls here, which is a very, very good move. Oh, just caught the outside edge of that bowl. Probably just wanted to sit that bowl to break those three up. So it's still there for them. Just a bit, uh, just a little bit extra weight on that one there. Grass line wasn't too bad there by Killer. Now again, still trying to break these uh, this pack up here, and again, just a little bit quick with that one there, Scott. Right, Justin, still looking that trail still on for uh, May could make four out of this, but gee whiz, Phil Black still got two bowls, so anything can happen. Still, I think just a little bit quick here by uh, by Justin. Yep. Just had to drop just inside that. Okay, down to the skips now, Blackie. Played some very telling bowls here this morning. Come out all guns blazing. Oh, doesn't want to slice it. Oh, it's a good attempt there. Just lucky he didn't, he didn't get that because that could have been a little bit... Uh, could have gone against them slightly, so. Very good attempt, though. Okay, Billy. Very much in the area. Uh, great bowl, Billy Cornell's. Probably still just only one down, I'd say. Uh, still holding two bullets. That Billy just went uh, a little bit too far. Flash over. He's been pretty unlucky, Billy, with a few of his bowls, really, uh, Jamie, hasn't he? He's played some very good bowls for some uh, not very nice results. But it's still there. They're like the trail's still on there, too. Like if, if he can trail the kitty out to the left, as he said, he could have four, maybe even five shots. So big bowl here from uh, from Bill. Yeah, just a little bit, a uh, little bit quick with that one. Yeah, so picked up another two. So well done there to the uh, defence force. Really, really having a uh, great. Um, Great battle here, aren't they? Pleasure to watch, in actual fact. Because they're combining so well as a team. It's the part that's impressing me. And once 
Once again, too, not too far away, Julian. Again, that's a lovely start. Just shortened it slightly with the mat being up towards the end of the line. So, great starter there from uh, from Julian. Yeah, not far away, young Mitchie. Yeah, great ball there. Lovely reply there from uh, Mitch Mears. So, Julian. Good on you, Greg. Says, come on, ADF, go Jules. Tell you what, he's leading up pretty good at the moment, uh, Greg. Don't think he'd be too disappointed with his game. Again, that's gone to a pretty good home there. Anything behind the uh, heads... Yeah, it is a good matchup, Jamie, isn't it? These two are having a great battle with each other. Yeah, just sneaking across the head there. Beautiful weighted ball. Okay, Vince. Well, oh, one in, one out. Uh, that's really the bowl that um, they should be looking at trying to sit now, Radar. Tell you what, she's definitely in the region to sit this bowl. Oh, starting to turn now. Oh, very unlucky there, uh, Radar. She just caught the edge of the kitty. Uh, very good result there for the uh, defence force with two good catchment bowls there. Yeah, good call there. Another good bowl there too from uh, from Vince sitting just just in behind Jack. So Gar looking just to trail the kitty, undo what she did. Oh gee whiz, that wasn't far away, was it? Very good attempt. Okay, Scott. Nice little trail here. Holding a few there. Looks like they've got, f well, definitely three shots, if not four. I'll tell you what, he's played this well too. Looks like he's got the kitty. Yeah, great ball. Whoa, it just didn't stick with it though, and he's given him a bit of a look at it. Yeah, so Justin. Tell you what, got a nice line on this one here, Justin. Just fell out by the looks of it. Yeah, it can be a little bit, mate. It's it's not too bad though, really, Jamie. It's uh it's pretty handy, both hands really. Couple of little tricks in it, but nothing that uh, you can't fix. You know, Justin, just looking about another two foot of weight, that's all. Like you played it uh, very, very well. Okay, hey, Justin, doesn't have to change too much, that's for sure. Yeah, 
Now, is it going to hold that line? Oh, <laughs> just rocked it and probably just fell out too, so... Yes, nice attempt there by Justin once again. Just uh, needs just a tad more grass. He had good weight on that one. Okay, Phil Black really had a incredible, incredible f first up game here this morning. Oh, gee whiz, you didn't miss that by much, did he? Great attempt there by uh, by Blackie just to take that out of sight, out of mind. I think that last bowl of fills, it may count. Not 100% sure. Uh, great attempt, though. Right, Bill. He's only got a couple of feet. Got to swing around those bowls with the uh, kitty off the line, as you can see. See the overall score? Very close. Now, Billy... I just don't think he's quite got the run to get there. What happens when you're trying a dead draw? So we've really had some great bowls here this morning already. I said it's 18-16 um, to the bowls. Queensland President 12. I tell you what, he's played this well too, once again. I'd say that one would have to be in the count by the looks of it. That's the one, Billy, if he can sit that bowl, he'll have shot. Get themselves on the board and try and change the length that they've been playing. Oh, he's underdone grass line, but can he pump Justin up? No, he's not. He's undercut. His grass, sorry, his weight was absolutely superb with that bowl too. They're not too sure. We'll find out when they put it up. No, it was just the one. So there you go. That bowl of uh, of fills didn't count that last one. I so said that's where the camera angle sometimes can be a little bit deceiving. So it's still a good pick up there to fill black lead combination. And the ADF have actually hit the front. 19-18. So there you go. They've stuck their noses in front. Uh, said they'd come out of the all guns blazing last night after their first test defeat. My God, haven't they? What? They're putting on a great performance here this morning. Ably led by uh, Phil Black. And again, what a beautiful start here from Julian Richards. Uh, very good starter. So Mitch again drops straight onto his forehand. Starting to work its way into the head now. Just going to sneak around the back, but a good starter. Not, not much wrong with that. The thing about it, why Mitch could be such a good lead, because he's got the same coloured bowls as Robbie Allen. White. I think Robbie uses white because it saves him throwing the towel, and he just chucks the bowl out there instead. Hello, he's shaking his head again now. I thought I heard something rattling. <laughs> okay, Mitch, just trying to drop a couple of feet of weight off. And I'll tell you what, this one here is looking very, very handy. Yeah, great bowl, Mitchell. Yeah. Still just the one down with that uh, front bowl of uh, Julian's. Yeah, I've been smaller on the mat at the moment. 
Tell you what, he's played this well too. He's going to drop inside of uh, Mitch Mears's bowl. A little inside edge. No, I just missed it. Good attempt. So, yeah, definitely on the forehand here for uh, for Gail. Gail Crompton, of course, from the um, Tweed Heads Bowls Club. Or Club Tweed. Tell you what, she's very close to this white thing. Just going to get the wrong side. Oh. Beautiful weighted bowl there from Gale. Yeah, can always hear when Robbie shakes his head in. You're right. Yeah, can always hear the little bit of a rattle in the background. Look at Look, he's going to have a bit of a sleep now. <laughs> oh, what a great bowl. What a beautiful correction there by Vince. Yeah, great bowl there, Vince Muller. From the Austral Bowling Club in... Down with uh, Vince. Okay, Gail. Don't think she's quite got the grass line. Again, her weight's pretty well spot on for what she was after. A couple of good Casman bowls there. So definitely holding the two shots there. The Phil Black led combination after 6 and leading 11 0 over Bill Cornell's. You couldn't write the script any better, could you? The defence force in front, 19-18. Brett Wilkie got a bit of a commanding lead over there over uh, Brent Marshall, 10-4. And um, Brendan just up over uh, Jerry Hawkins, Harkins, I should say. And yeah, I'll tell you what, not looking too bad here from Scott trying to break this pack up here. He's broken those two up. Probably his next bowl, he's probably looking just to beat these two bowls here of uh, Gail Crompton's. A couple of nice little catchments there too, so. Justin Cribben got some work to do. Yeah, definitely play his forehand here, so where you get the result. Uh, Justin looking just to dead draw it. Looks a bit quick to me. Beautiful grass line by Justin, but just uh, just his weight. Right, Scott, on a nice track. Just starting to turn. A yeah, beautiful weighted bowl. Gives Justin really the track in there now, though. Right, Justin just trying to correct his uh, his weight. Oh, he adjusted his weight beautifully, just his grass line. Good attempt. Okay, Phil holding two shots. See the spring in his step as he walks back down to play his first bowl. You see he wants to get down there and play. Why wouldn't he, the way his uh, team's performing here this morning? Be very keen to get a bowl in his hand. Again, he's got a beautiful grass line on this. He's watching it very intently as it starts working its way into the head. Okay, Billy really got his forehand. Dead draw. A bit of a trail. He can make a few. Depends which way it goes. As I said, the camaraderie between the players. You see Phil pick up the bowl for Billy. Okay. Billy Cornell's on the mat. Sticking to his forehand. Beautiful weighted bowl there from Bill. Just uh, a little bit underdone grass line. Gee whiz, that's a good attempt though, isn't it? Like, I mean... Yeah. 
I reckon they're probably holding. I reckon they'd be holding three shots there. By the looks of that, yeah, we can rock this bowl out of the head. Not quite. A uh, good attempt there by Phil. Just a bit light on. That's all. So that shot's still on for Billy. Now a little trail here. I said to the right hand side of the line. They've got four bowls there. Waiting for it. One of Bill's, one of Justin's, and two of um, Radar's. I think he's gone a bit too wide with this one. It's not really too wide. It's really just his weight. It was actually his grass line was absolutely spot on, so that did come back a long way. So 11, so see how much Billy puts up now to see how many it was. Three shots, it was just the three. Three to Billy's, uh, three to uh, Phil Black's lead combination again. So it's now 14 nil on this after seven ends. And again, a pretty good throw there from uh, from Julian. Just, I love the way they're just varying this length slightly. There's no huge um, changes in it, but just bringing the mat up, taking the mat back a bit further, and uh, just moving it around, which is uh, good thinking from uh, from Julian. A bit wide with that one, uh, Julian. Now Mitchell got the opportunity to lay some pressure. But gee whiz, every time they've been able to get close bowls, you've got to take your hat off to this uh, defence force team. <laughs> uh, good one there, Kate. <laughs> I love your faith in them, kiddo. <laughs> well done. Yeah, lovely starter there from Miss Mares. Good on you, Kate. Love the banter with our viewers. It really is what keeps you going. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Julian once again, I said he doesn't have to change a little bit, just his grass line, his weight was absolutely spot on i tell you what, he's corrected pretty well here, is he going to sit this bowl of Mitchies? Yeah, good bowl, he's got shot out of it Yeah, defence force has snuck away ladies and gentlemen, 23-19 Okay, Mitch Again, lovely correction from uh, Mitch Mears also too. These two have had a great battle up front. Really have. Right, Vince Muller. Sticking the forehand, looking for a trail. Or sit this bowl. Going to sit this back bowl of Mitch's? Yes, he is. So... Got two seconds there now. Yeah, good call. Can't trail that kitty. Got to look at just uh, sitting that bowl of um, Julian's. In a pretty good area here by uh, Gail Crompton. Very well played, Gail. Very well played. Not much wrong with that. Yeah, just a bit ruddy with that one there, uh, Vince. Again, he's played some absolutely great bowls here this morning as the whole Defence Force team has. And take nothing away from the Queensland President um, 12. They've really played some great bowls too, but just a little bit outplayed by the defence force at these early stages of the game. Another good bowl there from Gail Crompton, not too far away. OK, Scott on the mat at the moment. Just got to drop a bit of, bit of weight off. Know how he feels. I've been trying to do that for years. Nearly back down to my playing weight. 120 kilo playing in the front row. <laughs> Hello, Robbie shaking his head again. Okay, Scott. 
you think that would be a little bit underdone grass line just by the looks of it. His weight wasn't too bad at all, was it? Absolutely spot on. That forehand really starting to do some drawing in there now. Or well, both hands really starting to do some drawing. Now, Justin on a beautiful line. Comes down to his weight as his bowl's working its way into the head. Oh, great attempt. G'day, Catherine. How are you? This is good evening from the west coast of Canada. Always good to have you on board, Catherine. It's um, 10.48 here in Queensland. Got a beautiful day. There's, uh, well, when we come in this morning, there's blue skies everywhere. But they tell us we're in for some rain this afternoon. It is, at the moment, 23.8 degrees. Uh, sorry, 24.5 degrees. It's just changed, and they're forecasting rain developing. Okay, Justin wasn't too far away with his first one. Just ran through. And this one here, has he got the run on it? Got a beautiful line. Not quite. Okay, full black. Looks over there, I'd say two down by the looks of it. From here. Uh, this chap here played some outstanding bowls here this morning. Oh, Catherine, it's uh, 10 to 6 over there Friday night. What about I give you the winners of Harold Park last night and you can back them? Does it work that way, Robbie? Ah, it's a, it's a sports sport, Catherine. We could have had a heap of winners now, but Robbie said you can't do it. It is a sports sport. I'd do it if I was you, Catherine. <laughs> hey, good on you. Sit back and enjoy the bowls. Okay. I reckon um, Billy, on his forehand, holding two. Any movement of uh, the kitty just back? No, he's going to... Stick on his backhand by the looks of it. Try and just sit inside that last bowl. That would have been his danger bowl on the forehand, though, if he did uh, get the kitty the wrong way, which is easy to do on this beautiful pace carpet. Is he around this? And he is, too. Little straight, nah. Not a bad bowl from Billy. Beautiful weighted bowl. There you go. Catherine said she knows the results anyway. She's going to back him. Just send the money over in a brown paper bag, please, Catherine. <laughs> Don't make up Robbie, make up Brian only. <laughs> hey, have a great day. Okay, Blackie, looking just to change his weight. I'll tell you what, he's on a beautiful grass line. It's looking pretty handy as it starts working its way into the head. Just, I think he's just overcorrected slightly with his weight, though. So we may see the opening shots from uh Billy here at the moment. Is that purple bowl of Billy's? Do you reckon that's in the count? It must be pretty close. Good day, Rex. It'd have to be pretty close, I reckon, by the looks of that. Yeah, it might be the red and yellow there at the back because it is lying down where Billy's bowl is standing up. Okay, Bill swung over to his forehand this time here, looking probably just for a little trail. Could make a few out of it if he could. Hey, good day, Juddy. How are you, mate? I believe he holds that line. Oh, may be. <laughs> We're about to find out. One, two. So you can hear the cheers out there. <laughs> 
Brett just come over and congratulated him. 14-2. Billy's on the board. Off and running. Uh, been some great bowls played already, Anthony. How are you going, mate? Really, uh, Phil Black combination here this morning just come out all guns blazing. Absolutely superb exhibition of, uh, of draw bowls here this morning. Blackie's played some absolutely telling um, telling shots here this morning. Some fantastic conversion shots. Okay, we see Mitch now trying to set the head up for his team. If you can see, they've lengthened the uh, the length. Yeah, he's he going to finish it off just a couple of feet short, but a nice starter there from young Mitch Mears. 20 Celsius over there in Canada, Kathleen, eh? Thank you, Doc. Okay, once again to Julian. Yeah. And a good line on that one there, just pulling up just a tad short. Now Mitch looking for another three foot of weight. Mm. He definitely got the weight side right. Just caught the edge of that bowl, a bit of a straightener. Oh, handy, handy result out of that. Yeah, just a little bit underdone grass line with that one there, uh, Julian. But, um, he's played some great bowls here this morning, setting his team up nicely. Right. Goal, Crompton. Not too far away. Beautiful weighted bowl there from Radar. G'day, Karma. Says, go Queensland. Okay. It's pretty close. The defence force still holding on to that lead. And playing some great bowls here this morning. I said we always knew they were going to come out all guns blazing. Yeah, good bowl there from Vince. Okay, go. Just holding the one now. Again, just a little bit underdone. I think that bowl there has just got her a little bit worried. Look at the finish on that one there. It's really starting to run on now. Beautiful conditions here at um, Capella Bar Sports Club. And a hearty congratulations to the hard-working board here and their manager, Nigel, that do a superb job. Absolutely unbelievable uh, facilities here. Uh, good handy home there, that's for sure. Yeah, any movement of that white bowl, very, very beneficial for the Billy Cornell's lead combination. Justin, maybe just a little bit. No, oh, this last time it came back from there, in actual fact. Well, it's on its way back, just a little bit running, that's all. But handy bowl there. Anything in behind the head is always handy. Okay, Scott, just going to drop underneath, unfortunately. It probably needs another three foot of weight, too, by the looks of that there, where it's finished. But, um, been a great game here this morning. I said the defence force out in front at the moment. 
Yeah, you know, Justin. Oh, beautiful track on that one. Just over Capilot. Just over. A bit unlucky with that one. It's very easy with just the uh, correction sometimes, just to pull up a bit short with your second one. And a beautiful line on that one, Justin Cribben. It's Justin from the Jubilee Bowls Club up in North Queensland. Yeah, just running through the head. So just the one to uh, Billy Cornell's lead combination at this stage. Okay. Down to the skips. Now, that front bowl there is touching. I reckon... Phil will play a little bit under line onto that bowl of his because that white bowl of um, Mitchie should go out the head if it's touching. G'day Mick, how are you buddy? Give you a tingle later mate. All good Richo? <laughs> G'day Pete, how are you buddy? Okay, Billy. Jeez, that again is a good weighted bowl by Billy. Just a little underdone grass line. You see the scores there that Robbie has up down the left-hand side of the uh, the screen. Brett Wilkie at the moment up 12 fall over Brent Marshall. And Brendan Wilson and Jerry Hawk Harkins are having a great battle. 8-5 to... Brendan at this stage got up last night 1918. Now this is one that Phil said was he was going to play onto his own. Shot bowl goes out of the head. Played at Brentley, one shot. Well played. Absolutely beautiful weight control there by Phil Black. Three bowls there waiting for uh, for Billy if he can get the kitty. As you can see on the right-hand side of the line, if he slices it, he's in big trouble. So, needs the kitty in the belly. Played it well. That's it. Doesn't want it to go out, though. But he's left it pretty well out in the open now, too, for... Uh, Oh, no, it's not tucked in there, but holding a few shots, but uh, Phil got plenty of room to draw. Oh, sorry, they're one down. I didn't see that bowl over there. Yes, they are one down with that um, bowl of um, of Julian's. That was his uh, second bowl, his first bowl, I should say. That's right. So there you go. Just took that a little bit too far. You see that area in there that I was talking about where they had uh, four bowls, but it just took it just a tad too far. But he's definitely one to the Australian Defence Force there by the looks of that. Yep, unlucky there, Billy. Played it well, played it very well, but just uh, just probably a little bit too much weight, that's all. But uh, great uh, great bowl there from, from Bill. Went from one down to one down after playing a great bowl. <laughs> that's what happens times with our great game. And great game it is too. Yeah. Uh, both these skips are playing good bowls, so Sandra, aren't they? They're really put on the great, great matchups all the way through here. Like, I mean, Billy's been a little bit unlucky with a few of his results, but he's played some great bowls. But uh, take a hat off to Phil Black the way he's played here today. Like, he played that bowl there, that bowl to get shot with such incredible weight. Just, just that metre through the head, just to reach the head. And he played it absolutely superbly. And a good starter once again from uh, Julian. Julian Richards.
Great starter there from young Mitch Mears once again. Okay, Julian looking just to take a bit of weight off. I tell you what, he's not going to be too far away from this kitty. Oh, what a ball. Well played. Well played. And <laughs> tucked it right up against that ball. And that's what happens when you're chasing shots and need need to score. There's always a ball that you just, just tucks in and makes it harder for you to get out. G'day, Owen. How are you, mate? From Sazak Jordan's. So Zach June from in Canada, one of our regulars. Always great to have you on board, mate. Mm, so, mate. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit under down grass line. That was Bay Desert, though, I went to there. Um, yeah, okay, Gail. Has she got the run? She's got to get... Got a good second in there. She's going to have another good second there. Uh, that's great bowling there from Gail Crompton. Yeah, good bowls. Mm. Yeah, can see it coming down, mate. Yeah, looks that way. Definitely a bit of rain on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Just looked at the weather map there. Yeah, we'll put it on the screen shortly. So, Gail, still trying to just move this bowl. Tell you what, she's very close to this. Oh, what a great try. That's a great bowl there from Gail. It's raining here now. Good on you, Pete. Thanks for that, mate. Where are you, mate? You're up Bormo way, aren't you? Greg, La Greg Logan says, go the ADF. I think you're up that way, Pete, if I remember correctly. Okay. Scott, Scott McNally. On his backhand. A little bit underdone grass line with this one here, though. Now, Justin got a huge drive. I mean, does Billy get him to go to the edge of that bowl? Glenwood, that's right, mate. Yeah, Glenwood. Ah, good on you, Pete. Yeah, go to the edge of that bowl. Yep. Because see, you see the way it's locked in there. Oh. Very, very unlucky there. Yeah, I thought he would have gone quicker. Um, I actually thought he would have gone a lot quicker there because he's got a big drive. Um, very good drive in actual fact, uh, Justin. Justin Cribben. So Scott, once again, definitely got a better grass line. Any movement on this front bowl, it's on the run. He's going to be awfully close to it. Looks though like he's just going to rock it. Maybe. Oh, that's a good bowl. Oh. If I was Justin, I'd be going quicker now. If he got to the inside edge of that yellow bowl, that would also get shot bowl out, I reckon. Yes, yeah, a little bit working, but he's going to take... No, he's not going to take another one out. Yep. So just the one. Again, just got that bowl in the head. They just can't get out. As you can see, it's 24-23 now to the Australian Defence Force. Some great bowls being played out here this morning. Gee whiz, they've come out all... All guns blazing here this morning. That's not just guns. I think they brought the tanks and the grenades with them too. The way Blackie's playing. Absolutely on fire. Uh, 
Uh, great uh, contest this between the Bowls Queensland President's 12 versus the Australian Defence Force. Always played around Anzac Day, a very important date in the Australian calendar. Okay, Phil Black. Straightener. And that's made it a little bit harder for Billy now. Yeah, Greg, he's playing pretty well, young young Johnny, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> he's never far away, young John. He uh, had a good game last night, mate. He was pretty consistent. So, Bill... Well, he's cleared the track for himself now on the forehand, so he's got another one. No, he did play. He did play well uh, last night, uh, Greg. Uh, never far away. Always good to catch up with uh, with Grinder or Young Johnny. And our friends out at Roma, Joslyn and everyone out there. So, going for a bit of cover here, I think, um, Phil. And what's it to turn? You know, it was pretty handy. Okay, Billy on the map. If he got draw weight, he's not going to be far. If he gets the inside edge of the boss, he's got the chance to get both. And he did. What a great bowl by Billy Connells. He may have made two out of that, in actual fact. Yep, going to put a tape on this there. Just looking at Gale's bowl there. Not too sure he's got the belly in front. Good shot. Yep, just the one by the looks of it. <laughs> Gal had mucked around. She'd already put the score on the board already before they finished measuring. So <laughs> uh, she was quite happy. <laughs> hey, good on you, Gal. After 10 ends, 15-3 to Phil Black at 25 all now on the master board. That's a <laughs> really good battle, this one, the second test after New, uh, New South Wales, after Queensland, Queensland President 12 had a very convincing win last night. They won on all three rinks. But, uh, Phil Black put on a huge performance last night, just going down to the Brendan Wilson-led combination 19-18, so. Yeah, it was a good bowl, wasn't it, uh, Ricky? Bit unlucky not to get two out of that, in actual fact, uh, Ricky. Played that with uh, nice weight to get the result that he required, but look at this reply here from uh, Julian Richards. Such a great bowl. Good starter from Mitch Mears, but a better one from Julian. Well played. Right, Mitchell. Just going to pull across the head. Another good weighted bowl there from young Mitch, though. Just needed just a tad more grass. I think he knew that was a little bit underdone. Yeah, nice grassed out there. T 
tell you what, Gail, has she got the run on this? Look, two still running into the head. Well, that really, if that stands up there, that'd be pretty close to being shot, I reckon. Sometimes the camera angles can be a little bit deceiving, though, as I've, you've heard me say that hundreds of times, but it's ever so true. OK, Vince. If he sits inside Gale's bowl, which he is going to do, well, that's a good bowl. He's made two shots out of that. Well played. Well played. Yeah, go inside edge. Well, that's a good bowl. Only one down now, so left the head in a better situation than she found it. So she's done her job. Well done once again by Gail. She's really, uh, really played some very good bowls here this morning. Again, very good bowl. Just, yep. Yeah. Just found the gap though. Hey mate. You can smell it, can you? Fair enough. Right, Justin. Not far away. He wants it right. <laughs> well, he's holding one. He's holding one. Uh, that's a good bowl. Done his job. He's got on the mat at the moment. Yeah, it was a great bowl. You still awake, Jess? Hey, good on you, Pete. Rainbow Beach Bowl Sports Club. Good on you, mate. Oh, good attempt. Killer's really got to play this on the forehand. I reckon it's rather that'll replace a positional bowl. Bit of danger there on the backhand. But we'll see what Billy. Uh, I think Billy's looking on the forehand, just play through slightly. He could possibly, if he picked the kitty up, he probably could ha stay there for three shots with it. With those, uh, no, not th two bowls there of Mitch Mears. I think are the two on the right hand side by the looks of it. So. Got to be just around that front bowl there as um, as Justin, or if he sits that uh, that tricolour bowl out of the head. You wouldn't have to play this, Jess, because you play lead, mate. This is where Killer's got to have all the shots, mate. <laughs> and yeah, Jesse, good seeing you last night, mate. You and Tyler. It's definitely getting darker out there, Robbie. Starting to look a bit like rain out there, in actual fact. Okay, Justin on the mat, looking just to overdraw it. Starting to work its way in now. Yeah, good attempt there by Justin. It's not happy, but it is a good attempt. That's what's coming towards us there. A fair bit of it. Looks like it might go out up the Sunshine Coast, the bulk of it though, but it looks to be just coming down this way too, so... We may get that yellow part right in the belly. We'll have to just wait and see, but it's definitely on its way. Okay. Scott looking just to crack an egg on this shot bowl. Nice line first up. 
He's likes this too. He's not too far away. Just got a hold, a little inside edge, and he get the result. Oh, what a great bowl. I don't know who's got shot there, but gee whiz, that was a great bowl there from Scott. Played it with incredible weight. There's a couple of options there, but I think Bill's got to play it on the backhand, though. Uh, bowl, you can see the little bit of a gap between the two bowls, though. So he's got to get it right. It was pretty hard to tell he's got shot for here, though, Robbie. What a great head, though. you got to admit, there's, geez, there's been some great bowls played in this game, like 15-3 to Phil Black's team, but been some great bowls played from both teams. Great-looking head set up here. That's the shot there. I think Billy's definitely one down. I agree wholeheartedly with that. Okay, Billy looking just reaching weight. Awfully close. Great bowl by Billy Cornells. He's probably made five shots out of that maybe even six yeah great bowl off there from Billy it's definitely got four anyway not five I'm just not too sure on that uh, maroon bowl of um, Gail Crompton's up on the left hand side here it is here again played it with such incredible weight yeah We'll call it at five at this day. So big bowl here from Phil Black. Beautiful bowl there from uh, Billy Cornell's. Such beautiful weight. Now this bloke here, gee whiz, he's played some great bowls here this morning. And Blackie, look at this, he's not far away. Oh, he found the gap. How unlucky is that? Gee whiz, he played that so well, didn't he? Probably, if anything, though, just a little bit quick, that's all. But, uh, gee whiz, he played that absolutely. Uh, had the right idea. But, um, he's got another shot at it, though. So, here it is here, once again. You find it very hard how he can get through that gap at that angle without touching anything, don't you? Yeah, put his hands on his head, so <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh. Yeah, very good uh, attempt there by Phil Black once again. Had an outstanding game here so far this morning. Played some very big conversion shots. Uh, we see Brett Wilker just starting to sneak away slightly over um, Brent Marshall at the moment. 14-4. Brendan Wilson still holds his own up against Jerry Harkins. 11-6. Okay, Bill, what's he play? I'd say positional bowl, because he's, he's going to attack that bowl again. So I'd say he's looking to come around the back for a little bit of cover. Or is he going to play a blocker? Well, he's probably put another one in there now. Where there's holes for bowls. You're dead right there, Juddy. Well, he's um, not too sure who's got the best backward there, but uh, Blackie now, big bowl. He's quite a few down. This could really set the cat amongst the pigeons, this one here. So big bowl by Phil. Responded beautifully so far. Got a good line on this one here. He is not far away. Well, what a great bowl by Phil Black. That is a great bowl. Like, he was at least five, if not six down. He's got second shot. So that's a very, very good result by Phil Black. Kept his team, the defence force, well and truly in this game with that ball. That six, five or six could have been very telling. Absolutely a great skips ball. Pressure plus. Yeah, Billy just gives him high five. Says, well done, mate. Yeah, it was six. I thought it was too, Robbie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great bowl there from uh, from Phil. Really was a great skips bowl. 
Okay, Mitch, could be a little bit underdone grass line. Not much, but just a bit. Just got to put them out there just that little bit more. It's getting a little bit cooler. So green just seems to be just picking up a little bit in grass line. Uh, great bowl there from uh, from Blackie. Couldn't speak more highly of it. Okay. Back to this one, Julian. Julian Richards got this on a very nice line as it starts working its way into the head now. He's not going to be too far away. Yeah, it's a great bowl. Well played. Okay, Mitch. Just don't think he's corrected his grass line. Oh, Julian, a little bit underdone grass line with this one here. His weight again is pretty, pretty handy. Right, Gail. I think she's pretty keen to play her backhand the way she's set up by the looks of things. Yeah, just wanting to see that bowl was out, and it was just out there by uh, by Julian. Yes, and Bill has now, they've confirmed that the bowl was out, so um, Gail can now get on with the job. Now, Bill is showing a little bit of interest in this one here, but I think it's just not quite wide enough, but a very good attempt inside edge. So it's good second shot locked in there. Still just the one down, though, by the looks of that. This bowl here of Julian. So we've got Vince on the mat at the moment. Vince Muller. Vince, as we said previously, is from the Austral Bowling Club. I'll tell you what, he's played this pretty well. Is he going to just sneak under Gales? Yes, and he has too. Just enough. Yes, two good shots they've locked in there now. So Gales be looking for a little trail here. Taking it off the line over the left-hand side of that line as we're looking at the screen. Could pick up a few shots from that and also tuck it out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, just a little bit underdone. little inside edge off this. And put that into a very, very good home. That could even be shot by the looks of that here. Hard to say at this stage, but could be. Okay, Vince with his second bowl. I tell you what, he's just not quite under that. Just going to get the outside edge of that bowl of Mitch's too. Now asking Justin to sit that bowl there. Okay, Justin on a pretty good grass line. Now Billy's interested in the result from this one. Probably just going to be blowing a bit of smoke. Beautiful grass line on that one there by uh, Justin Cribben. Okay, Scott. Yeah, see Blackie just saying, mate, just draw through there. You've got a couple of options. You sit that maroon bowl or play through that other one or you trail the kitty. So got th three options there. It's a beautiful line on what he was after, just not quite the weight. But that bowl is still there for Justin on the backhand. Nice little trail, or not trail, just a nice little sit that bowl and flop. Make a couple out of it. Well, he's definitely got a better grass line. Comes down to his weight now. It's looking pretty handy. Billy's interested in it. Oh, <laughs> just missed it. 
And I think Billy would be pretty happy ha pretty happy with that, in my opinion. Great attempt. Unlucky. Got everything there but shot. Okay, Billy. Definitely got to sit these two bowls here. You got to basically do the same shot as what he called on um, on Justin to do. Sit these two bowls here at the back. Yeah, just a little bit under none. Had the grass line. Looking about another two and a half feet of weight though. Okay, having a bit of a look at this. Bit of a call there from Scott. Scott McNally. From down in the uh, beautiful state of Victoria. Okay, Blackie. Just having another look at it. Okay, he knows what he's playing there. Yeah, just looking just to beat those bowls. If he flops in off this back bowl, he's definitely half shot anyway. Tell you what, he's not far away. Jeez, he's played this well. Get there. Oh, not quite. <laughs> not quite, just didn't flop. Not bad at all. Okay, Billy, looking just to uh, beat that last bowl of Phil Blake's. I don't think he's quite wide enough, though. No, and he didn't have the weight, neither. Oh, not quite. But that bowl, definitely just that one bowl's holding him out of a couple of shots there, as you can see, but a little trail. little trail back. He's got to trail it. A couple of feet, he could end up with three shots out of this here, so not too far. Good bowl here, for, and he's played these bowls, these conversions, so well this morning. He's really played them well. So I think he's going to have to be on his forehand by the looks of that there. He's had a good look at it, and I don't think there's any way through. With that last bowl of uh, Billy's just been a bit shorter, just see them in about the protection there. Um, the only thing you could really do there is pay a cannon, which would be a little bit risky. And if it got on to any of those bowls, they're all against him anyway. So I think he will play this on the forehand. Just looking to trail it down there. He could make two, three shots out of this if he it, plays it with good weight. And gee whiz, he has played it with good weight here this morning, hasn't he? Played superbly. And again, he's in a beautiful area. Comes down. Oh, no, he just did. It was still running, though. No, I don't think he sent it. Uh, got a little bit, a uh, little bit keen on that one. So just the one to the Billy Cornell's lead on, but combination once again. Miss Mears picks up the mat and throws it on the tee, and says that's good. Now let's see if he's going to lengthen it right out. I think they're going to try and go tee to tee here by the looks of things. So very good tactics here by uh, Billy. Well. well Billy was the Queensland coach for a great number of years, and uh, gee whiz, he's uh, yep, he says, let's change things up, fellas. So we have got our first maximum length 
end so um, again so T to T ok Mitchy on the forehand He's got a nice line on this one here. Comes down to his way as it starts working its way into the head. He's not going to be too far away. Just going to pee just a tad short, that's all. Yeah, not far. Good first up bowl, though. Just fell over, though. So, well played. So, Julian Richards on the mat at the moment, sticking to his forehand. Again, he's in a beautiful area. Working his way into the head. He's just going to sneak around the back, but grass line absolutely spot on on that one. It's a little bit too much weight. Okay, Mitch, just looking for another couple of feet of uh, grass, really. He seems to have a better line on this one here. Just comes down to his weight now. So it starts working its way in. Green running superbly here this morning. Absolutely superb facilities here at Capella Bar Sports Club. Magnificent club rooms and two magnificent greens here. A club that's really looking to the future. Okay, once again, Julian sticking to his forehand. Has he got the kitty? He's not far away. He's got it in the belly. He has great bowl there. <laughs> he got two shots out of that. Then he's put the kitty in the drink. Yep, and that's a toucher. So. Very hard to get rid of that and get shot with it being a toucher. Got to get the edge of the bowl, really. If he gets the edge of the bowl, he's not going to stay there. Okay, Gale looking just a dead draw. At two down. Great bowl there from uh, from um, Julian. Now, Gale, is she on to Mitch's bowl here? Oh, good attempt. Locked in a very good third shot. I think they're still two down by the looks of things. I don't know. That pile of Mitchies, yeah, I still reckon it would have to be two down. Really, they've got to go the inside edge of that bowl, not the outside edge. That's, I'm talking about uh, Billy's team here, but I don't think Vince has got enough grass on this one here to do any damage. Probably a little bit of more weights inclusive. So I think Gail now will have to play her backhand because that forehand's looking a little bit congested. No, no, it's still there according to uh, Justin. Dead draw it. Okay. And Justin's Billy just gone to the uh, bar to get a soft drink. Oh, is he wide? Has she got rid of this one? <laughs> How unlucky is that? Gee whiz, that's, uh, that is dead set unlucky. Yes, you can see Billy just come back with a power aid, so there you go. No. Gail just needed that another half a roll. Now, just a little bit underdone. Is he going to get a little inside straightener? Definitely has. Just went a little bit too far. Justin Bell, you're dead right there, mate. Good on you, Vince, watching from the Austral Eagles Bowls Club in Sydney. Good on you, mate. Yes, we've got your friend here. Yeah, we'll do. I haven't seen her on board yet, but I have sent her a birthday wish. Okay, Justin Cribben, very hard to get shot on this end, I'm telling you. Yeah, Justin Bell, yeah, Julian's really playing well. Mate, they're all playing well on this team here, in actual fact. I think you'd have to agree with that, mate. They're all playing incredible bowls. Very good, high-quality game, this in actual fact. The same as last night, the score's really no indication on how good the bowls are. Now, Justin looking just a dead draw. It. I'll tell you what, he's got a nice line. Has he got the run? Gee whiz, that's a very good attempt by Justin. Um, we'll have a look this way. Yeah, 
<laughs> on the wrong boys, didn't see it. You're lucky. <laughs> oh, mate, love the banner with the players too. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, okay. Now, Scotty, just not quite there. Yeah, he had a beautiful line on that. Justin looking, what do you reckon, about another three foot away? Yep. Um, bum, bum. Right, Justin on the back end. Playing with a little bit of weight down through here. If he misses, oh, he's just going to get the edge of it. Yeah, just got the edge of that bowl, but he's cleared a little bit of a track there for Billy. Okay, we'll have a look to see who's watching. Trish Spicer is watching. Trish, a very happy birthday to you today. Oh, just missed that. What a great try. Trish, I've got a bit of a note here, believe it or not. Trish Spicer, up there on the tropical far north Queensland. It's mum's birthday. Could you maybe give her a little shout out if she's watching today? Love, Emma. Uh, there you are, Trish your daughter's wishing you a very happy birthday, as we all are here, one of our regulars. Robbie has three both birthdays of basically a month. You can tell that just by looking at him. Look, Trish still looks young lass, though. Uh, Robbie's just looking old, and he reckons he's younger than me. My godfather. <laughs> uh, he's trying to explain everything to me here, Trish. You've got no idea, this lad. Need an interpreter. I don't speak New Zealand. Yeah, Going to have a bit of a look at that. Yeah, it's a good overhead shot we've got here on the uh, on the cameras here. So it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Robbie's going to try and tap into it. But a very very happy birthday to you, Trish. And that's only between you and me. None of the other viewers know it's your birthday. That's just between you and me. And that was from him. Right, Billy on a nice track. Got to find this path. Again, what a great try by Billy. Again, <laughs> just needed one more roll to knock it into the ditch. That's a beautiful uh, attempt there by Billy Cornells. Could not have played it much better. They've got, um, at this stage, they're two down, I reckon. Oh, could Might only be one now with that bowl of Billy's, but only one. But if you, even if they were two down, you could say that they have uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh shot. <laughs> but they're uh, only one down. So a good bowl there from Billy where his bowl finished just inside that one sitting out there, Jack Eye. Robin Williams says, happy birthday, dear friend. Good on you. Yeah, wasn't just letting you know, Trish. It's only between you and me, and M gave me that card, but I've already sent you a birthday wish this morning, Trish. Okay, Phil. I'm trying to set this bowl and stay. Now, if Billy can set this bowl into the ditch with his next bowl and possibly stay, he may have two shots. So... Hey, good on you, Robin. Yeah, uh, lovely lady, Trish. Trish and Dave Spicer, up in tropical far north Queensland. And their lovely daughter, Emma, just wanted to send mum some birthday wishes. Oh, 
right billy or he's not wide enough had to be a little bit wider than that had good weight on what he was after though that's ideal weight that was just the perfect weight to sit that bowl in the head sit and stay up in Yungabara, up in tropical far north Queensland pretty sure that was um, Darren Rose first club up there if I remember correctly Robin Darren now is a member of Tambourine Mountain Bowls Club Rowie good bloke old Rowie and I do emphasise the old on that one there too, Robin. Ah, he's a good lad. Just pulling up a bit short, that one with uh, Blackie. It looks like just the one, yeah. So Billy did his job. He, he took one of the shots away, so well done. Okay. Very interesting game, this one here, isn't it? It's really, uh, really been, a, been a good game. It's been some great bowls played. The score is no indication. We can see that uh, through the efforts of uh, Brett Wilkie that the um, Bowls Queensland President's 12 just starting to sneak away a little bit. Oh, good starter here once again from Julian Richards. That's a great starter. Well played. Sitting just a couple of inches. Push the pressure on young Mitch straight away. Okay, Mitch. Start working into the head now. Billy's very interested in this, and why wouldn't he be? What a lovely reply. Beautiful bowl there from Mitch. Absolutely beautiful. His first bowl. So, Julian sticking to the forehand. Doesn't have to change too much. Again, he's on a nice line, starting to work its way in. Maybe just a little bit too much run, but it's going to come to a pretty good area just back there. I feel that breeze just starting to get a little bit stronger coming through the window too, uh, Robbie. I think that rain could be getting a little bit closer. Okay, Mitch, I think he's undercut his grass line just slightly. He'll be punished. And he was. That's... Uh, it's a good green, running uh, very, very nicely, running beautifully here this morning. There's some quality bowls played on the three rinks. Now Vince, I tell you what, he's not going to be too far away. He's going to outdraw a bit of a trail. Oh, just got the edge of that bowl. How unlucky is that? You can see up there on the left-hand side of the screen, the rain's getting a little bit closer. We are going to cop it. <laughs> okay, Gale. This bowl of Mitchies needs a friend. Hey, good on you, Robin. Sorry you're not coming down. It'd be lovely to catch up. Yeah, we'll be doing the uh, the four days though, Robin. Looking forward to it. It's uh, really one of my, well, it is my favourite event of the year, Robin, the district sides. I love catching up with all our country cousins and all our friends from all over Queensland. It's just, uh, you don't really start talking again, Robin. You just pick up the conversation from where you, lift off, where you left off last time and um, the friendships made over the years means you've got friends for life. No matter what bowls club you walk into, Robin, you always got friends in our great game. G'day, Joe Worsley. How are you? Yeah, great bowls being played here, Joe. Catch up with you at the district size too, Joe. Look forward to that. Okay, Scott on the mat, playing his backhand. If he can sit this bowl, he have got second and third shot. He can make three out of this if he can dislodge Mitch's uh, shot bowl. I'll tell you what, he's in the region, just going to cut under. Is it going to stay in the head? Oh, just kept running. Can be very punishing. Anita says, come on, ADF, wish I was there. Yes, yeah, great battle here, Anita, that's for sure. There's been some incredible bowls played here this morning on the three rinks. We see 
Brett Wilkie just sneaking away on Brett Marshall there, 21 4. But gee whiz, some of the bowls played. Good try there from Justin Cribben. He knows this bowl needs a friend, but he also knows that if any trail out to the left hand side of that uh, line, it's happy days for the Australian Defence Force. Yeah, nah, we'll catch up though, Robin. Want to get back up Tropical Far North Queensland. I love it up there. I really look forward to going up there, up to Mossman, of course. If you remember with the uh, North versus South and everything. And, um, yeah, really, really look forward to uh, getting back up there, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, we're going out to uh, Concurry this year um, after we do Townsville. So, uh, just going out to Damien McGee's territory. <laughs> on you Trish how are you <laughs> uh, I didn't tell anyone Trish I honestly didn't say a word I just wish you a happy birthday from your beautiful daughter Emma and uh, that's just between you and me Trish okay no one else knows I think Robbie was eavesdropping though Trish I think he was eavesdropping by the sounds I think so now, I've got a little note here Trish says Brian it's mum's birthday could you maybe give her a little shout out if she's watching today? Emma, and a big smiley face there. Yeah, it'd be great to catch up, Joe. So, definitely just got the one in there. Justin, a beautiful line on both his bowls, but Phil got to be just under that bowl of uh, Justin's. Can't be around it, just got to be... Um under it. He's got the line for it, but I think he hasn't got the weight. That's definitely going to go. As it did. Now, Billy, what does he play? I reckon he plays forehand and tries to move that kitty over behind those two bowls of Justin's, right where his foot is. Ever so true. Uh, I think that's what he's going to play. Just play his forehand and try and move that. He doesn't want to give give Blackie two shots at that. Not the way he's played his conversion shots here this morning. He's been absolutely outstanding. Um, hope to coming up for the Dunn Cup, Robin. Yeah, just waiting on confirmation. Okay, Billy, is he going to sneak under this bowl or even promote it slightly? Well, that's a great bowl by Billy because that actually covers up that kitty. So that's a very, very good bowl. Yeah, just waiting on confirmation with that. On that one, Robin. Went up, uh, as you know, Robin, went up a couple of years ago, did the uh, Dunn Cup. It was a great, uh, great week of bowls. And, uh, Okay, maybe a bit more. Oh, just going to try and dead draw it. He's got a good grass line. Oh, just going to caught the edge. <laughs> just caught the edge of that bowl. He was he's on track there, wasn't he? Eh? Okay, Billy, now if he can get rid of that bowl, he can bring a few more bowls into play there, can't he? Just by looking at that there, he possibly could bring those other two bowls of Justin, or one of Justin and one of Billy's into play. I don't think he'll get the, fr even the front one might even be in play too, so a bit of a rusk uh, 
risky shot, but one well worth playing. <laughs> yeah, what lucky was that? He was on track, maybe. We'll soon find out. Hey, good on you, Trish. You just have a great day, my dear. I'm sure Dave will be spoiling you rotten. Hopefully. Okay. Seven, just the two shots. Two, two good shots there. So that just, um, Billy, just a little bit of a fight pack. When you're behind and... You know, you're down a bit, and uh, all you do is just take every end as it comes, and you just try to win that end to try and peg your way back. Well, he's done that. It's now 16-7, so only nine shots in it. He was well down previously. So again, Mitch Mears has gone two to two. He said, we're one of you on this one, this length, so let's keep going. Okay, Mitch with his first bowl. Okay, this green is really takes us from grass here this morning, isn't it? That's a beautiful weighted bowl there from young Mitch, but just needs another couple of feet of uh, grass by the looks of that there. But a uh, beautiful starter, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, mate, good idea. I'll handle the camera work, mate. Not a problem. Look at this. Robbie's left me in charge of everything. He normally doesn't do that. Hey, g'day, Michael. Really good, buddy. Hope you're keeping well too, mate. Okay, Mitch. Got a better grass line. Comes down to his weight now as his bowl starts working its way into the head. Yep. Going to be just behind. Very good bowl there, though. Very good bowl there from young Mitch. As always, it's basically what you expect from young Mitchell Mears. He's uh, got a big future in our great game. Now, Julian Richards. Again, he's on a nice line, just trying to correct from his first one. It's not going to be too far away. Uh, look at that. Lucky's just giving him the thumbs up. Good on you, Cam. How are you, mate? Greetings to you, too. Beat the rain. Good on you, Michael. Okay, Gail. Just trying to outdraw that last ball. She's taken that little bit of extra grass, but as you have a tendency to do, grass line's spot on, but just a little bit too much weight. By the looks of that, it just fell into the ditch. Conscious of the fact that you've got to reach, but the said the green here running superbly. Absolutely superbly. Okay, Vince not going to be too far away neither. Has he got the kitty? Oh, no, that's a great bowl there. It's going to fall over. Yeah, you got it going. Basically, yeah. Backhand now, you get it off that bowl. Ever so true. That front bowl has made it a bit hard to get shot just the way it's leaning more to the left-hand side of that line. I tell you what, is she going to bend in time? Even if she gets the outside edge of this bowl? Oh, not quite. <laughs> a good attempt, though. She stayed on there, I think, so she'll have a good backward bowl, so that's good. Another good looking bowl here. Is she going to sit this back bowl? No, just going to sneak around the back. I think that might drop into the ditch too. No, pulled up. <laughs> so still, that's the bowl you got to beat there, killer. This is the call from uh, from Billy. Crystal says, go ADF. Watching from Austral. Good on you, Crystal. Oh, Justin had a perfect line. Looking about another five foot of weight.
Hey, good on you, Thorpey. How are you, mate? Oh, great bowl there. Well played there, Scott. That makes three. Makes it a bit harder. That bowl of Justin makes it a bit harder to get into. Hey, good on you, Crystal. Good on you, Adam. Right, looks like Killer's going to go firm. Oh, a bit wide. Hey, good on you, Thorpey. Hope you're keeping well, mate. Shame you couldn't be here. The eyes are playing up slightly, but hope you get busy. Is it raining up your way yet, Thorpey? Seems to be coming down from your neck of the woods there, mate. Heading straight for us. Getting a bit cool here, I know that, buddy. Okay, Scott, can he add another one in there? I tell you what, he's on track to do this. Yeah, great bowl. Well, good backward there, so a bit of cover. Yeah, they're forecasting some good rain for tomorrow too, so... Um Okay, Billy is three down by the looks of that there. Yeah, looks like it's coming there, Thorpey, that's for sure, mate. Seems to be just a little bit um, north of you at the moment, I reckon, Thorpey, just looking at the weather map there before, mate. Definitely on its way, though, bud. Right, Billy, what's he going to play? going to play where is he going to try and dead draw it? Play this... Um, attacking line but it's not going to come back from there unless he gets the outside edge of this bowl he could get a result not quite so it's still three down on this carpet if you're going to go with weight like that you've got to go directly at the target so we're in a colossal uh, battle here this morning it's the uh, brendan wilson is up as we can see uh 13.9 um, Andrew, sorry, Brett Wilkie is the one doing the damage here, as always. Brett played some very telling bowls last night, and uh, gee whiz, by the looks of it, he must be playing pretty well. His team's playing outstanding out there, also, too. A you know, pretty handy team he's got, though, too, in John Hammond, Emma Spicer, and Jacinta Ware. They're all combining very well, just looking at the heads. Hey, thanks, Sue. Hope it doesn't rain at uh, Vicky Point. They got that big weekend on, Sue. So, so, ooh, just running across the head there, um, Phil. So, Billy, does he go again or is he dead draw it? I like to see him dead draw it. Yep, good call. Playing on the forehand, mate. You've got more options. If he's narrow, he's going to get the inside edge and get both. If he gets the inside edge of that yellow bowl that's just called. Oh, OK, Sue. Yeah, I hope it doesn't head to Vicky Point then, Sue. Uh, OK, Billy. He could possibly get the kitty off the inside edge of that bowl. Well, he's going to get something. We're about to find out. You're going to get one of them anyway. And he got the kitty, so there you go. That's not a bad result from Billy. He was three down. Now, Phil's still got a bowl to play, and he's got ample room to draw. But he has made the result better for his team by um, taking those uh, three shots away. So good bowl there from Billy. As I said... Hmm? Bit of starting to rain out here now, Sue, apparently. So put the put the umbrella up, Sue. It's just around the corner. Okay. 
Phil had an outstanding game here this morning. Got probably about five or six feet to draw the shot. He's on a beautiful line. Starts working into the head now. Look at this bowl from Phil. Not a, that shot, good bowl there. But Bill, as Billy did his job there, said he was uh, three down, just one down. So a uh, great bowl there from uh, from Billy Cornell's. So you can see Brett is up to his 16th. He's playing the 17th end. He's played 17. Okay, just changing it now, as I can see, yes. So, Blackie, 17 7, 10 in front. Yeah, well, see how they go there, Sue, because, uh, as you know, Lindsay was on air with me last night, and he's playing over there today with your husband, Tank. Okay, a bit quick with this one here, um, Julian. Grass line, once again, absolutely spot on. Okay, Mitch. Mitchell Mears on his backhand. Been playing this hand most of the morning and been playing it very, very well too. And once again, got a lovely starter here from Mitchell Mears. Yeah, lovely bowl, Mitch. As always. And it falls over, consolidates. Makes it a bit harder to uh, to get out. Okay, Julian. He's got to take a little bit of weight off from his first bowl. Looking very promising as it starts working its way into the head. Just not quite going to get back in time. So I will give this thing a see it getting closer and closer to the Brisbane area. Right, Mitch with his second bowl. Again, he's got this very well pointed. Oh, that's great bowling there from young Mitchell Mears. Okay, tell you what, Vince is not... Oh, he's just going to cut slightly. Gee whiz, that's a good attempt, though. Look at his grass line. Can't ask for much better than that, can you? Shea Richards. Got to be related to Julian. Says go ADF. I will say this, the next game we've got uh, Brent Marshall playing um, Brendan Wilson and there is a disclaimer being put in already. Uh, Brent would like to say that he's not related to me and he's very grateful that he's not. So the disclaimer is that I'm Brian Marshall, he's Brent Marshall, but we're not related. So the disclaimer has been put in already. Julie notice, says Robbie. Oh, good attempt. Very good attempt there once again from... Uh, from Vince, Vince Muller. Okay, Gail. Again, her grass line was spot on. Just a little bit enthusiastic with her weight. And she's looking pretty good with this one here. She hasn't overcorrected. She's played this beautifully. Oh, great bowl, Gail. That's very well played. It's given them something to rest off now, though, hasn't it? They can play that on the back end and possibly get shot. <laughs> Only a brownie. How are you, buddy? <laughs> okay. Nice looking line on this one here from Scott. Just going to cut under the head, though. Had good weight on that one. Probably needs another two foot. Okay, killer. You don't want to fatten the target much. If they do attack that, I reckon that kitty will go out to the left-hand side. Yeah, better come down and have a look at this, mate. We're thinking. Now, with that, ladies and gentlemen, this wonderful event is brought to you by some superb sponsors from Bowles, Queensland. Hey, good on you, Brownie. 
This event could not be brought to you if it wasn't for the sheer generosity of Mullins More Than Law, Queensland Government, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Asset Sports, J. Carroll Club Promotions and Bioscapes Group. And of course, these Anzac Test Series, you've got to also thank Capella Bar Sports Club for the use of these unbelievable facilities that they have here. It's uh, If you haven't been down to Capella Bar Sports Club, I really highly do recommend that you come and just have a look and possibly have a game of bowls here because I tell you what, you won't be disappointed. You've got two magnificent uh, covered greens and um, absolutely incredible facilities. Beautiful club rooms. Okay, looking back on this, yeah, I think you'll find he's got to stay that side of the line. Because that's where I reckon it's going to go if it hits. Because if he hits it properly, that kitty should hit the back bowl and go out to the left-hand side. So put a... That's if it's hit properly. But if he goes with big weight, it'll be a kill anyway, in my opinion. But hey, I've been known to be wrong, wrong once or twice before. Uh, Robbie's head shaking again. I can hear the rattling. Okay. Scott on the mat. Scott McNally. Again, just a little bit underdone. Yep. Yeah, Billy wants another positional bowl, but wants it to stay that side of the line. Again, he's got a nice grass line on this one here too. Starting to work its way in where Billy wanted it. Yeah, I reckon that you couldn't come down and place that bowl any better than where Billy wanted it, so well played. Right, Phil Black, three down. As I said, he's played some incredible telling bowls here this morning. You can see the social members turning up for a game this afternoon. But, uh, rain, hail, snow or shine, they can definitely play bowls here at um, Capella Bar Sports Club. Right, Blackie playing down with a little bit of aggression, a bit of a tighter line here. Comes down to his weight. He's just not going to quite... Could cut it down if he gets under this bowl. Oh, not quite. Not quite enough. Just needed a tad more grass. He had pretty good weight on that one there, uh, Phil. Could have been very telling. Uh, Billy having a bit of a look now. You can tell that they're not going to attack it where I say attack it big time, but I think... Yeah, I think the backhand's probably the safer bet there. I think that's what Billy will play. Billy jumped straight on the mat. I thought he'd be playing the back end. Definitely the safer hand of the two. Steadies himself. Had the same delivery for years, Billy. Little inside edge. Yep, and it counts. That's a great bowl there from Billy, Cor Billy Cornell's. Adds a little bit more pressure. It gets a high five. Going to have to soak his hand in ice for a while now, I reckon. Okay, I think you'll find Black will attack this. He'll go big at it. On the back end. No point mucking around now. No, just playing after all, mate. Okay, I thought he would have gone big at it. Straightener. Oh... Good attempt, very good attempt, just not quite good enough though. Have they cut one out of it though? Has it cut two out of it? 
Still be holding at least two, I reckon. If not three, depending on that white bowl. So, uh, definitely three anyway. Definitely three, if not four. But anyway, Billy's got another bowl to play, so we worry about that. The conclusion of this of this bowl here from um, from Billy. Stick to his back end. Basically, same bowl as last one. If he happens to come around that bowl and rock that bowl one more time, he probably sit uh, six shots, uh, five shots, I should say. Can't see six anywhere, but I can see five if he happens to sit it. He's got a nice line on this one here. Oh, gee whiz, that's a great attempt by Billy. One, two, three. Not too sure we're about to find out, but a pretty handy pickup. I do know that from uh, the Billy Cornell's lead combination. Must be four. Looks like 17-11. Uh, great bowl there, a <laughs> couple of great bowls there from Billy and a bit unlucky there, um, Phil. It was just got the inside edge of that bowl but just uh, ran through. So that's a handy pick up there, Billy, as I said. All you can do when you're behind is just keep plucking away, one end at a time. And ever since they've lengthened it out to basically three quarters to full length, they're really having some... Uh, some great results that they're getting here at the moment. So Mitchell Mees on the mat playing his forehand. Again, that's a lovely starter from Mitch. Going to sit just in behind the head. Yeah. Millie says, well done, mate. Yeah, just running through the head there slightly, uh, Julian. Just struggling since they've lengthened it out that slightly, haven't they? Just starting to struggle a little bit. Another great bowl here from young Mitch. Going to rock this one over. Oh, just missed the edge of it. Okay, Julian with his next one, not too far away, gee whiz, that's a beautiful correction, just not quite. Okay, go, Crompton on the mat. Played this very well as it starts running into the head. Uh, that's a great bowl there. And a toucher. Well played. Not a bad attempt there from Vince. Just going to cut across the head. Beautiful weight he had on that there. Just didn't quite get the result that he required. But now I'll go with her next one too. Now the way that last one finished, this one here is going to have to do exactly the same. And gee whiz, that's a very good. The only thing is that's left a nice little shot on there for um, for someone. That's the only thing. A little inside edge off that, and they should get Kitty. Play with a little bit of uh, a little bit of aggression. This one here said had 
good weight on what he was after, but just had to be a little bit uh, more direct at the, uh, at the at that bowl. That's basically grass line. It, uh, had ditch weight in it, though. Yeah, Billy wants the head changed up a little bit, as you could understand, because it is a little bit um, daunting there at the moment. When I say daunting, it's a nice little uh, couple of good little shots on for the opposition. So, killer. Oh, not quite there. Needs a little bit more weight. Okay, Scott sticking to his backhand. More of a draw line on this one here. Has he got draw weight? If he can, he could get back. Still running. Oh, just didn't quite send it, did he? No. Lovely attempt there, though, by uh, by Scott. Yeah, a bit of danger with that last bowl there of uh, Scott's, that's for sure. Uh, good fight back here from Billy's team, 17-11. Oh, must admit, though, Phil and his team have played superbly. I'll tell you what, played this well, killer. Yeah, good bowl there. Yeah, I think they've got to go more at it now, though, and that's what Phil's after. They start, start getting aggressive. Got a few options there, that's for sure, on the back end. Oh, a bit wide. There, yeah, just left the hand, it's a little bit wide, that's all. But, um, yeah, that bowl of justice just fell over too. Uh, only the three. I don't know, I like that bowl of um, Julian's on the way in for fourth shot. But I wouldn't write this one of uh, Killers out, out the back, though. Nothing there, nothing here yet, uh, Michael, no. Rob, uh, Robbie did just come back inside a little while ago and said it's just starting to get a little bit of moisture out there, but it hasn't really started to come down yet, mate. Just the odd sprinkle at the moment, Michael. But it's on its way, mate. It's just moving a bit slow at the moment. That's all. So, mate, uh, if you want to be a thorough gentleman and a, uh, a very caring husband, mate, if Lacey's out mowing the lawns, mate, take an umbrella out to her, buddy. That way she won't get wet. And I know you probably already had thought about that, though, Michael. Okay, Billy doesn't want to fatten his target. Tell you what, he's played it pretty well, though. Gee whiz, that's a great bowl, Billy Cornell's. That is a great bowl, but I think I think it's made up Phil's mind what he's got to play now, though. Always been very caring, Michael, that's for sure you have been, mate. Can't get over how you look after Lacey so much. You always make sure there's plenty of petrol in the ride on. All times. Okay. Phil, he's got to go big weight at this. He's four down. Maybe five at this stage. Definitely four, though. Okay. Yep. Controlled weight. Pulled it across the body, though. <laughs> I know, Michael. Love your work, son. Regards to Lacey and Dakota too, mate. 
Yeah, it's great bowls there, isn't it? Like, it's been a very good game of bowls, this. It's really been uh, some great bowls played. Some of the heads have been absolutely outstanding, but I must admit, when you're playing on a nice surface like this, um, you know, pace of it's not absolutely what you call over quick, but it is a very kind pace. It's The heads have been, yeah, some of the heads have been outstanding, as you'd anticipate playing on this type of quality surface. Okay, Billy, I'll tell you what, he played it absolutely superbly with his first one. Can he add a bit more pressure? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, look at Billy, he's played this superbly, mate. He really has. He's going to close that gap. Well, that's really a lovely target to hit now. Now, that's fair enough, Michael. I, I know that you've been pretty fair, mate, so I can understand that. She's been a good girl, mate. You let her on the ride. I need not. She's got to use the push mower. Okay, well, that's good. She's only got about five acres to cut. That's good thinking, mate. I'm sure you get a nice meal that night. Is, is your salad in the microwave too like mine is sometimes, Michael? I love it when the lettuce is nice and crispy. Just cook nicely. Yeah, I think he's going to go a little bit bigger this time, which I really think he has to. Could probably still get the kill off this if he gets that bowl on the left-hand side. Oh, he's pulled that across the body. Unfortunately, that's a very handy pickup here to the Bowles Queensland President's 12. Very good pickup there. Five shots to Billy Cornell. So, gee whiz, they've really made a bit of a comeback. They picked up four last end, five this end. That's nine shots in two ends. Yeah, great bloke. I couldn't agree more, Christine. He's uh, he is a great bloke, Blackie. That's one shot in this now, and that's you know Blackie's not happy, mate. But I tell you what, he's he's played some great bowls. He really has. He shouldn't be disappointed the way he's played. But I know it's a bit tough to drop nine in two ends. So believe you me. Yeah, just since they've changed it a little bit, Adam, I just noticed they've both been playing so well. Um, both of them have been playing outstanding, but look, a great start there because Mitch is starting to apply that pressure from up front now, Adam, and I think it's just taking its toll And because Julian and Vince have really set the scene for this, this Defence Force team here today. They've been leading up superbly, but once they lengthen the end, they're just struggling that little bit. Once again, a beautiful line there from uh, from Julian. Just needs another probably four or five foot of weight. That's all. Now, Mitch, you can come around that bowl. There's no danger there. Of course they can come back, mate. I definitely agree with that. They're quality players, mate, both of them. They've shown that to us here today. What a great correction from young Mitch Mears, though. That's a beautiful bowl by young Mitchell. Well played. Okay, forehand. Tell you what, he's got better weight on this. Just not going to get back in time, but gee whiz, that's a good attempt. Well, maybe just a bit too quick with that one there, unfortunately, Julian. I think they've been a little bit harsh on themselves and should just relax slightly. Okay, so it's been a tale of two halves, though, isn't it, where the, um, Phil and his team absolutely dominated the front end of the game. And the last few ends, the back end of the game, uh, Billy's team's really come out firing. Yeah, Ian, two great bowls. Yeah, Adam, he's representing your club very, very well, mate. You should be very proud of him. i tell you that right now. G'day Merv, one of our regulars from Bega. Lovely drop of cheese down there, as you know, mate. Okay, Vince on his forehand. Just don't think he's quite got the weight to get there. Got a beautiful grass line on that one. Because the one thing, see, the weather's changing too. It's getting a lot cooler and a little bit more um, humid, you could say, with a bit of rain coming. So... 
The pace of the green probably has slowed down just a tad. Still taking plenty of grass, though, by the looks of it. And it's probably slowed down a tad, but they're taking a mile of grass still, which sometimes for a bowler can be a little bit confusing. And that's a beautiful weighted bowl there once again from Gail Crompton. Just a little bit too much grass with that uh, last bowl of hers. So we see Vince now he's following this down. He said, no, I'm going to follow this down. If it's not there, I'm going to kick it there. He's played this well. What a great bowl. Well played, mate. Probably just the one down now, so that's very well played. Yeah, good call from Billy. He said, mate, that you, Jack. Okay. Justin Cribben from the Jubilee Bowls Club up in North Queensland, up in Townsville. Gee, he's played this very, very well. Great bowl killer. His nickname, of course. Might see a bit more aggression here. The only thing being is they've got to be very careful because they have only got that one bowl in the head. So I think it's really just going to be just draw weight. Really need more than one bowl before you go attacking your head. And there's still plenty of holes there too. Yeah, what is he going to bend in time, Scott? Oh, that's a great attempt, mate. Well played. Yeah, fall over? Yeah, it might, yeah, I still think it's two though, by the looks of that. I think that last bowl of Justin Stilling. G'day, Eddie King. How are you, mate? Beautiful Port Macquarie. Okay, Justin would love to be able to take this kitty off the centre line. Oh, two good bowls, Justin Cribben. Too great, but it just fell over to to take that vision of the kitty away from the opposition. So sometimes psychologically, it just does. Just don't not too sure where that kitty is. So can Scott stick that kitty out in the open? He's on a beautiful line to do something. His weight's looking pretty reasonable. He's not going to be too far away. Oh, just going to pull up short. Beautiful line he had on that too, didn't he? There's another bowl in the head though, but uh, makes it a bit hard for Blackie. Hello, Mitchell Mees has given Billy Cornell's high fives. Trouble with these young kids, the old place got to go to the bar and get some ice to put their hand in, mate. Get the bruising down. You see the president down there. Wedgie, sitting down on the seat. Absolutely, this guy does everything. He's one of the great workers in this club. Does a mile of great work. Got his arms folded, just watching the bowls. It's uh, between him and Darren and uh, the rest of the crew here. Got an incredible crew here at uh, Capella, Bar Supports, uh, Capella Bar Sports Club. A, really, uh, a club that's really on the move. Great to see. Now, Billy, trying to split these bowls here. Just a little bit too wide. Yeah, he's not happy with that. <laughs> There's Wedgie. He's having a good look. <laughs> we got you, Wedgie. Going great guns, Jacob. Really is, mate. Uh, regards to you and Kane too, mate. Yeah, nice. No, going fantastic, mate. It really is. Last night was great. And today the bowls have been incredible, Jacob. Okay, Blakey, we're going to get Wedgie on in the next stream anyway. Do a bit of talking with us, mate. You already asked him. Give him a bit of a break. They had the AGM this morning, as you're fully aware, Jacob. So now, Phil, I don't think he's quite got the weight. Oh, got a beautiful grass line on that one there. So Billy, just got to cut his grass line down slightly. It'd be nice just to probably put something just in um, in Phil's eye with his next bowl. Just stay on the left-hand side of that line and uh, 
just a couple of feet short, just to put a bit of doubt in Phil's mind with his next bowl. Rather, that'll trail the kitty. Uh, well, that's second best option. Pretty hard now with uh, with Phil's first bowl to play anything at it with huge weight. He's got to play more of a swinging weight now, so... So, Phil just said a nice, kind words to uh, to Billy, like, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, uh, the camaraderie between these players, absolutely outstanding. So, big turnaround here with the Billy Cornell's lead combination. I reckon they're holding five shots here, Robbie. Four, okay. Oh, that jack eye bowl out there, yeah, 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 nah. Just noticed that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah, definitely only four, mate. That yellow bowl's not um not one of theirs, mate. So have a bit of a look at this. Pretty hard to get the split on there with that bowl there. Gotta play more of a swinger. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, Phil will play whatever he's comfortable with. He's played some very telling bowls here. He's still in front by one. Good day, Ray Thorne. Hope everybody's enjoying the telecast. One thirty, the next game. Should be a cracker. Uh, we're going to have uh, Brendan Wilson up against Brent Marshall in the next game. Yeah, you're dead right, Ian. It's very... Uh, most games are played in two halves, aren't they, Ian, as a rule? Because uh, I said, just it's amazing how small things change games, though, Ian. And th when they... When, um, when the President's 12 got the mat and went uh, long, the whole complex of the game changed, didn't it? Okay, Blakey now looking for uh, a result. He's on a nice line. I think he may have a little bit too much weight. He does not want to take this bowl out. He's just a little bit wide for that also. Whoa. Well, that may help anyway. Yep. Now Mitch got the match straight away and put, them, put it on the uh, on the tee. So, lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new leaders. Billy, what a fight back. A great fight back. Yeah. Right, this is the 19th end of 21 ends. Been one heck of an eptic battle. Yeah, great starter there from young Mitch Mears once again. Beautiful weighted bowl. Eh? <laughs> well, it will be breakfast, mate. <laughs> yeah, when you go after a smoke. <laughs> what a uh, great starter there, too, by Julian. That's the shot. So that's the one Mitch has got to beat. And he has been playing this. Been correcting very well. And again, look at this here for a correction from young Mitch Mears. That's a great bowl. Little touch on the way through. Left it on the, just about on the line, and uh, yeah, great bowl. So Julian has got to play another good one. He said he's uh, been a great battle between he and uh, young Mitch here this morning, and Vince and Gail Crompton have had a great duel also too. 
Yeah, it's not a bad way to bowl. A couple of feet short, but just needs a little bit more grass. A couple, uh, couple of ends to go. This the 19th end. Must admit, the President's 12 does have a bit of a jump at the moment. Gal just going to sneak around the back. Very good location there. Very well played. The beauty about it, when, you, um, when you're leading, in actual fact, in the game, you can then start playing positional bowls. And Billy, that's an experienced campaigner that he is, just took one end at a time till he fought his way back and been outstanding. Yeah, played pretty well during the game, Adam, that's for sure. G'day, Wayne. How are you, mate? Right, Gal. Beautiful uh, grass bowl out there. It starts working its way into the head now. Not going to be too far away. Another, yep, ideal place bowl. Morning, Joel. Good to see you out of bed, mate. Where's Tyler? And Jesse, mate. Yeah, great bowl here. Got that bowl out of the head. Bang. Great bowl. Well played. Good bowl there, Vince. <laughs> ah, jolly. How are you, mate? Hope you're well. Went in Mumbai. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah. Tell you what, Kelly, it's not far away from this. He's played this pretty well. Oh, what a great ball. Justin Cribben. That is a great ball. Well played. Okay, Scott on the mat at the moment, Scott McNally sticking to his backhand playing down here, little trail's worth about three shots and he's definitely out there in the nice region to achieve this, gee whiz that's a great attempt, beautiful weighted bowl there from Scott. Okay, looks like they're just playing a positional bowl here, not looking at the kitty, just looking where Bill's foot is. That's where he said he'd like a bowl. Now Billy very interested in this. Very good bowl there, exactly where he wanted one, and that's where it went, so. Well done. Justin. Tell you what, played this pretty well. Gets on to his own bowl. Uh, not quite. Okay, Billy having a good look. Fought back brilliantly here with a couple of ends to go, trying to protect that one shot.
Great attempt here from Billy. Inside edge. Oh, geez, that's a good bowl, isn't it, eh? Played that well. Yep. There's the head there. Billy definitely holding one with that bowl of Justin Cribbins there by the looks of that. Good day, Brandon. Brandon Smith. Yeah, he's going pretty well, the old killer mate, isn't he? Okay. Phil. He's got to hold that line. Just going to cut. Great attempt, though. Played that with beautiful weight, didn't he? Yeah, good call by Billy. Just stay away from it and let them do it. Put one out there just in case. Good idea. Okay, just where Justin's foot is. Tell you what, he's played this pretty well, Billy. That's two very good bowls from Bill. Really has played that well. Okay. Phil, on the mat. Got to change it up a little bit. Uh, he's just playing that reaching weight. Just quite not enough grass. He's not happy with that, but uh, he just really had to go a little bit more grass or a little bit quicker. I think it's just the one there to the uh, Billy Cornell's lead combination. Mitch Mears has got the mat in his hand and he's keen to uh, get going. Okay, Mitch looking for another good three-quarter to full length. Once again, you can see that getting a lot closer, can't you? Definitely coming down from the coast. Coming down from up north. Yep. Right, Mitchell Mears with his first bowl. Once again, he's not going to be too far away. Gee whiz, he is leading up very, very well here. He's had an outstanding game, young uh, Mitchell. But then again, so is this bloke right here. Julian Richards, he's played some great bowls. Yeah, beautiful weighted bowl there from uh, from Julian. In the zone, definitely in the zone, and that's for sure. Now, Mitch with his second one. Again, he's got it out there. Weight start to look all right as it starts working its way into the head once again. Just in behind the head. Two beautiful bowls once again from, uh, from young Mitchell Mears. Right, Julian, sticking to the forehand. Just looking just to... Just come inside that bowl. Maybe just rock it slightly. Oh, just going to undercut. Just going to cut. A pretty good weight for what he was after there, didn't he? Very good weight for what he was after. Gail just cutting her grass line slightly. 
reasonable type of weight. Maybe 18 inches or so short, but just needs a bit more grass. Again, now Vince and his telling that I should be out there wider. He's pointed at that already. Yep. <laughs> Good on you. Right, Gail, definitely got this more directly pointed at it. Oh, what a great bowl, Gail Crumpton, once again. Oh, just didn't fall down, but she's made possibly three shots out of that. So that's a very good bowl there from uh, from Gail. Yeah, Vince got a better grass line on this one here. Starting to look very interested in it. Well, that's a beautiful correction. That's a bit runny, but uh, that's a bowl that can always come into play. Just sitting in behind the head. Okay. Justin. Yeah. Once again, pretty good weight. Just needs a tad more grass with his next one. Only one in to go after this one. Next game, we said, starts at 1.30, as long as all the players have been fed. And uh, we'll be into it then for another great game this afternoon. Okay, so we're just pulling across the head here with this one here too, Scott. I'm looking about another three, three and a half foot of weight. Just fell over. So a little bit of trail would be very beneficial to the Billy Cornell's lead combination. And just tuck that kitty off the centre line. Yeah, Billy's very interested in this one. And you can see why. Ah, uh, great bowl killer. Oh, just <laughs> still leaving the kitty exposed. I wouldn't be surprised if Blackie tells him to attack this now. Get through it. Yep, get through it. Play down through there. Good call. Good call. I see the, the um, Queensland President's 12 sneaking away now from the Defence Force. Been very close all the way. I'll tell you what, this is awfully close. Oh, very unlucky there. But uh, good bowl. Well, probably definitely got shot there, in my opinion. With that jack eye bowl. So, definitely got the result. Well done. And uh, the only way you could yeah, play this under the white bowl of... Um, of Mitch's and um, yeah, but no, well played, well played, Scott. So Billy, Billy sticking to his back end. Why wouldn't he? He's played it so well the last few ends. And once again, Billy Cornell's. What a ball. <laughs> Gee whiz, he played that well. Beautiful ball there from Billy. Okay, Phil. Really just got a dead draw it. 
Back on the draw. Starts bending. It's not going to be too far away. Oh, that's unfortunate. He just caught the edge of that bowl. Uh, that's a little bit unlucky with that one, Phil. Okay, Billy. How good's the memory, Bill? Like you said to sit inside it, but good bowl there from Billy. Did the damage with his first one. Holding two shots there at the moment. Now, can't really get to it any other way, really. There's nothing there where there's no gaps up front. Yeah, he doesn't want to take that bowl out. Yeah. yeah, Scott just giving uh, Phil the uh, the heads up on it. In other words, mate, you're in trouble, bud. What can you do? <laughs> okay, Phil, what can he do? He's got to be very careful he doesn't take out that, that bowl of theirs in the head. Just a bit wide. Uh, that'll be two to the Billy Cornell's lead combination for the Bowls Queensland President 12. Uh, sneaking away a little bit now, just a couple of ends to play in this uh, this second test match with the third one coming in at uh, 1.30. So not long to play. They won't have long for lunch. Okay, Mitch on his forehand. His first bowl once again, which has been very telling. And Mitchell again is just 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 a little bit underdone grass line, but a very good first up bowl. Good starter there from Julian also. Now just Mitchell just took that little bit extra grass. It's all right. He's got two reasonable bowls there. So that's what um, Julian's got to beat. Uh, tell you what, not far away from the kitty. Is he going to sit this bowl? Mr. Stewart, how are you this morning, mate? How are you, champ? Yeah, mate, he's still going all right, Brian, isn't he? That's for sure. Now, Gail, not going to be too far away. Going to get the outside edge of this bowl of Mitchell's. Yeah, pumped it into a very handy location. Very handy. Uh, well played. Okay. Vince on the mat at the moment, sticking to his forehand. Again, I just don't think he's quite sent it far enough. No. Beautifully grass bowl there by uh, by Vince, but just needs a little bit more weight. Looks all right, mate. Oh, my God. Mm. Ah. Great bowl there from Gale. Played it very well. Coming home with a bang, aren't they, uh, Billy's, Billy's team? Yeah. 
Yeah, lovely try there by Vince. Just overcorrected slightly. Okay, uh, Justin. Beautiful line on this one here. Yeah, great ball. Oh, yep. Made four out of that. There's nothing wrong with that, that's for sure. Great ball. Yeah, that front bow might just be in his eye there, but wait and see. It's definitely around that front bow, that's for sure, though. Oh, he's got a nice line. He needed a bit more weight than that, though. Beautiful, that was more draw weight, that bowl. Yeah, bit of danger out there, so we'll drop a bowl in here. Good call. All right, Justin, uh, he hasn't put it where he wanted to. He's actually drawn another bowl. Oh. Great attempt there by uh, by Justin, though. Played that beautifully. Another bowl in the head. Right, Scott. Again, yeah, just had to be around that bowl. As I said, very much in their eye when they're looking to set up for that there. Down to the two skips now. Billy first off. An absolute spring in his step at the moment, as you can see. His team... Performed admirably in the second half of this game. Really have put on a master class display. Take nothing away from this defence force team. They played absolutely beautiful also. Uh, Billy looking to just play a covering bowl here. Just wants to throw it a little bit wider than usual. Yeah, good bowl. They probably just needed a little bit more grass, that's all. That's all he would have been chasing there. Oh, Phil. Going down the last turn. What a great game we've had. Yeah, played well, uh, Leslie. That's for sure. It's killer does all the time anyway. <laughs> Okay, Phil, just playing reaching weight by the looks of it. Very, very close. Great bowl. That's a great bowl there from uh, from Phil. Played that beautifully. Justin just had the call, cool, probably two, mate. Okay, Billy. Just looking to dead draw it. On the back end. Starts working its way in there. He could sit this bowl or pick up Kitty. He's not far away. <laughs> Unlucky. He's taken one out of the way anyway, so it's pretty good, sir. Now up to uh, Phil to add another one. This Bill has taken one out of the way. So Phil with his next bowl. Yeah. 
Yeah, beautiful try by Phil. Just not quite got the run. But great game of bowls we've had here. I think they're about to put a tape on it. That was one to Billy. That but shot of his must have must have had it. So it's 24-17. What a great game of bowls. Well played. Good on you, Thorpe. You definitely catch up next week, mate. Look forward to that. So another uh, great game. Second test is again to say win to the um, to the Bowls Queensland Presidents 12 over the Australian Defence Force. And of course the next game should be a cracker between uh, Brent Marshall and Brendan Wilson. So we'll be back on air, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to have a bit of lunch ourselves and uh, get ready in 25 minutes. Uh, next test match is supposed to start at 1.30. And, of course, Bowls Queensland, this event couldn't be brought to you also for the sheer generosity of these wonderful sponsors. It's Mullins More Than Law, Queensland Government, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Asset Sports, J. Carroll Club Promotions and Bioscapes Group. And, of course, the wonderful support we've had here from the Capella Bar Sports Club. We thank them very much for their generosity. Now with that, ladies and gentlemen, from Robbie Allen, myself, Brian Marshall, enjoy your bowls and support you.